And what's up, everybody? Tristan's Shop Talk. Another episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Malik Whitmore That's after okay. his win. So it's a little different now from the last time. No, oh, yeah, I hadn't fought since. Yeah. Or before that one. So, yeah. So now, welcome. Welcome to the podcast. And then, uh, step in co host, best friend, Bear. <laughs> yeah. So what's up, man? How you feeling? Sore. <laughs> Still. I didn't think I'd be so sore. It's really just my hand hurts, honestly. So what I was interested in was, uh, okay, so the fight was two weeks ago? Nah, like no, a week, nah. No, a week, a week, what's today, Sunday? Yeah. yeah. So last week, a week from so last today. Sunday. So then uh, that was, what, March 17th? No, no, what am 10th. I t- March tenth. Yeah, okay, what I'm talking about. Okay, so then before that, what did you start fight camp? I'm just curious. Um, I had a pretty long camp. I like a long camp. <clears throat> There's mm-hmm. some people that like like a little four, five week camp. I like a good like ten. So ten you're a week you're a ten week camp. Camper. Yeah, I think. I want to say December, maybe. Beginning of January, we started camp. So yeah, like that. yeah. So like January, because that would be like about ten, ten weeks. Because I had a re- another opponent that uh, one of my teammates had just fought. Yeah. And I was gonna fight him, but then something told me that they were gonna pull. Yeah. That fight. Uh, and, and that then, was with Fury too. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, sure enough, he pulls out, and then uh, I get. That guy, yeah, Brera. Yeah, yeah. So, and then he's Houston local as well, right? Yeah, I think like uh, up in Cypress Spring, somewhere over there. Nice. Yeah, but you, I got. I remember you had told me you had never even heard of this guy. So this guy you didn't even know nothing about. Yeah, it was his debut. Um, there was nothing on him. There's no yeah film, no jujitsu matches, no smokers, nothing. But the gym he was coming from was it pretty well known? Um, or I, guess, I personally didn't know of yeah. the gym. No, like, disrespect or anything, but yeah. uh, I think they're a newer gym. Yeah. So you go into the spot with this guy, you've got no idea what this guy can do. No one's seen <laughs> this guy or nothing, none of that. Yeah, no, nothing. Right on. Right on. Yeah, I, I know nothing. Um, I don't know your mic. I can't hear him in my mic. You can't hear him either, huh? No. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you a little bit, I think. I'm in there. Swimwear. Oh, no, I can hear him. Go ahead. There we go. There we go. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you. Barely hear you. Oh, well, anyways, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. Now, uh, th- that's got to be challenging, you know? Or at, no, least, it is. at least in your head going to a fight, you never haven't seen a guy's stuff, you know? Um, I guess in all aspects, it should be a little scary, a little weird. Um... But I kind of knew, like, what their gym did, so I kind of had an idea of what <clears throat> with his game plan would probably be. And I don't think, I mean, I kind of know what most people's game plan against me would be, because um, I personally feel like not a lot of uh, amateurs would be willing to strike with me. Uh, so I assume most people would want to take me down once the the flow starts and gotcha. yeah, you realize that you're kind of fucked. And probably also, you mean, probably you can imagine people are watching your fights, so that they, you know they're they're watching, studying what you've been doing in your tape, you know. So yeah, yeah. So that's that's always fun too. <clears throat> but I guess in, in that situation, man, where you don't, where you know, you don't, you haven't seen this guy's stuff. You got, you really got to be confident in in, in your skills, and your your preparation. More than anything. Yeah, uh, I definitely could have trained harder for this camp, I would say. Um, not that I didn't train hard at all, but there's always more you can do. Um, right on. Um, I'd say, what, three weeks before the fight, I totally dislocated my knee. Jeez. Um, and I thought, <laughs> I thought my coach was going to pull the fight 
And Shit. as I'm laying on the ground in pain, fucking everybody's standing over him. Like, don't pull over me from one. the, don't pull me from the fight. Like, don't pull me from the fight. Because we're like less than a month away. It's like. All, all that pain, that's, that's the only thing you can think of is don't call it, don't pull the fight. Oh, yeah, dude. I was laying on the gym ground, like fucking crying because that shit hurt so much. Was that Perez that would have done that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he gave me like a week to like kind of ease back in and I had to spar. I popped my knee out Wednesday. The following Wednesday, he was like, all right, well, if you can't spar today, right. then I'm pulling you. So I had to game face it and muster it up and spar hard that week and so he would know that... The week before? Be yeah. No. Or the week after I popped it out. The week after you popped it out? Yeah. Wow. So I would have to... How, uh, how tough was that, man? Um, It's happened before. So it's not... It's... I know how to kind of deal with it a little bit. Uh, but this time... Mentally. Yeah, this time was a little bit worse. Because uh, it felt different when it happened. So... Um, and I didn't want to get it looked at before the fight. I didn't want to know what's wrong with it until afterwards. Because wow. I don't want that. That mental, yeah, in your head. Yeah, I just don't care to know. Because I'm going to go fight anyway. So it's right. like, the fuck is the point of knowing? Yeah, I'm going to go fight anyway. Man, yeah, it's, it's rough and tough shit, man. Yeah, I'm going to go um, fight anyway. So there's really Who's no man? reason to, yeah, to fret. add another, oh shit, now this is wrong. I already know it's messed up. So. Yeah. I don't think that mic is recording, but we're going to still push through. Yeah, push through, man. Damn it. Push through. It's all good. So, okay, so 10-week fight camp started before, and then it uh, started before um, March 10th. So that was 10 weeks. Damn, so you had started uh, pretty much January? Yeah, yeah, pretty much January. And then January, January, you knew you were already settled, right? To like have a fight, for yeah, sure. yeah, 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 <clears throat> yeah. Because before this fight, I was it was like months of like, okay, we got this date and these names, but nobody accepted. And I'm going down to weight class now, and I'm pretty big for that weight class, so people say. So it's like, yeah, 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 it's well, not that... easy to find me fights at 145 because I'm I'm one. my reach is like. 76, 75. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you got like six, like, the reach of someone who's like 6'3". Yeah, yeah. So most of those guys have a reach of like maybe 70 or, you know, it's not a a close advantage. I walk around pretty heavy, like 170, 175. So I cut a lot of weight. So. Yeah, because when I used to see a Paradigm, you were at like, yeah, 170, 180, right? Yeah, no, there was a, definitely a time I was walking around like 190. Yeah, yeah you're, that's what I'm <laughs> that saying. That was real chunky. Yeah, because yeah. when, I, when I saw you, I was like, damn, dude, yeah, you, you cut. <laughs> yeah, I cut. I dropped this this camp I all together I throughout the 10 weeks, I'd say 31 pounds. So, so with 10 weeks, boom, from that point on, you were you were cutting, like, like just watching what you eat, yeah, just waking up early. Me. Were you? Yeah, uh, not eating. I mean, I know, I know you have your work schedule too, so I know you. Yeah, like all cut out the drinking, cut out the like partying and all that stuff. Thing which I with. love to do, but <laughs> yeah, you like, you yeah. Like not not uh, you. Yeah, really. that's all I do is fuck around. <laughs> I'm like the fuck around master. I'm just always down to go have fun and drink and yeah. let's see what happens tonight. Appreciate fuck it, man. you know. Appreciate, man. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. 27 years old, man. What I mean, that's what I, that's what I expect. Oh, no, yeah. I'm definitely slowing down. I'm, I'm starting to feel it now. Yeah, I'm getting... Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it, yeah. If you're still, if you're still partying, but you say you're slowing down, yeah, that sounds about, sounds about right. Yeah, it's starting. Sounds yeah. About, oh, the hangovers yeah. are starting to last like a day and a half now, like two days. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going into retirement with the party drinking life. <laughs> do, 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 do it while you're young. Do it while you're young. Man, I want your mic to work, dude. I'm in my early it yeah. hurts these days, you know. So, so yeah, do it while you can, bro. You know. No, Bear was just saying like to do it while you can. So, yeah, I'm just trying to fill in to okay. where though. <laughs> you want to get his mic going? We can, we can, we can start over if you want to. It's only been ten minutes. I don't care. I have nothing to do the rest of the day. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, want to, if you want to, cool. 
If you want yeah, because I, I well, well, no, let me just. Hey, maybe it might work, man. Maybe no, no, because it, it need no, because I don't hear you. You don't hear me at all. No. Okay. I think yeah, okay. I think we hear you through that mic. I okay. think that's what it might be. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, we can start it over. Let's start it over. Fuck. And that's it, man. It's good. It's good as fuck, man. And they make one of those in a can, a plum in a can. So yeah, pick pick that fucker up, man. I think I think you'll like it. They do a ranch water too. I, like I just it. found out I like ranch water. Okay, yeah. They, when I went to uh, I went to a Guns N' Roses concert like a couple months ago. No shit, man. Where 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 at? Uh, Minute Maid. No shit, yeah, badass. Alice in Chains opened up for him, and it was, a really good, it was a really good fucking show. Badass. I've seen Alice in Chains a couple times. No shit. With uh, they opened up for Corn. Once or twice. That's fucking cool. And I saw him somewhere else. <laughs> That's badass, man. All right, we're back. I, yeah, I've never seen Guns <laughs> N' Roses, man. That was uh, way to be, man. That was on my last bucket list. I wanted to yeah. see. Way to be. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, the Alice in Chains? Yeah, Guns N' Roses, Alice in Chains was good. Yeah. Oh, we were back in? Yeah, oh, are, are now we, we're back you, on. You recording? Oh, shit. <laughs> recording? Yeah, so we're on now. We should, everything should be good now. What were we talking about? Me cutting weight? Yeah, I couldn't wait, and then I guess uh, uh, cutting weight, and then shit, just kind of the beginning of your fight camp, going going through that shit, and then uh, um, I I knew the game plan. It was good. They're they're gonna want to take me down and like t- tire me out. I was really worried about my cardio this camp. I mean this fight actually, because it's I never really had anybody try to like take me down. Yeah. Um, and I knew that's what was going to happen. So I was like, I wonder if I'm going to gas or something, you know. But I ended up, I got a little tired in a second. And I've found that niche of uh, picking up the second win. Yeah. And uh, so that was good to know that I could do that. And you know. Picking up a second, that second win, is that a, is that a, a mental thing? I don't More than it's is a, a physical weird... thing? Is it like a switch in the head? You're like, okay. Bam, yeah. turn this on. Yeah, I think more so of your body getting more energy. I think it's more of like a, all right, we got to go. Right. So you got to, you know, fuck being tired, fuck your arms. You can't hold your arms up. Yeah. Um, you got to go. Right. Um, but, but I don't know, from what I used to remember you being a paradigm, I mean, you were always kind of, I don't know, you know, <laughs> you kind of brag and be like, I'm not, I don't get tired. I don't get tired. <laughs> yeah, because we were yeah. mostly doing striking. And <laughs> I could strike with yeah. you for 20 minutes straight and, yeah. you know, pace myself out and be fine. But, like, it's different when you got to incorporate grappling and right. Yeah, right. somebody's actually really trying to, like, punch you in the face really hard. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> but are you waking up in the mornings at the beginning of that 10 weeks and are you starting to run in the morning? And- I didn't run this entire camp. At all? No. no all you cardio. do is just lose and cut. Just on the, just on like a regular day, my knee is just shit. Oh. Uh. So, like, I can't really run that much. So is that why you were almost thinking you might gas? Yeah, because once up? I got to like three weeks until the fight, a month until the fight, I was like, "Fuck, it's too late to start trying to like run or like do the bike." <laughs> so I'm like, "Oh fuck, I'm gonna gas and lose." A fight that I probably should not lose, you know, no disrespect, but, you know, I shouldn't really lose this fight. Yeah. And I'm going to lose it because I got tired. Like, that's fucking trash. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What would you, so what would you, what would you do? Or what are some ticks and tricks, if you know, if you, if you can't run, how else do you get cardio in? Um, just train harder in the gym, put myself through that, that extra. That, those, those extra reps. Yeah, the extra workout after the whole team is done, after our class is done, you know, you get one of your training parties, take some pads afterwards, keep the keep the sweat going. Keep yeah, so it. just kind of doubling down on, on training, essentially. Yeah, just like an extra yeah. 20 minutes, extra 30 minutes after class, you know, just. Yeah, because, I mean, with <clears> your striking and your, your, you know, your workouts already, I mean, that's cardio already, I mean. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, I just know that I know the running helps and the breathing and all that. And I just think of how all these uh, other fighters, they get all like, like, how can you say? They get all um, zen-like because of their breathing and they 
yoga. Yeah, I'll and... probably reach that point. I'll probably get yeah. weird and get like a breathing coach one day or like do some weird shit like that. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe when I get more money. But I think it's all just <laughs> meditation anyways, though. I mean, when you really think about it. I mean, fighting for me is very meditating. Yeah. 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 I've, 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 I've heard from a lot of people when I fight, it just like I don't, I don't, I don't. See, I, I know people. Not even from my gym, just like people that I've met through fighting, just at like AGB, like just a store, just around <laughs> the world. Yeah. And they're like, no, I get hyped. And like, I love when the crowd is getting into it. And I love when, and it just, and it just seems like a show to me. It was just like, this is like fighting for me is very peaceful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you're, you're in a serene place when you're in there. You're in a peaceful yeah, place. Yeah, like when I walk wow. out, I'm not doing the whole like get the crowd hyped and right. Like I'm not doing all that extra weird shit. <laughs> like it's when I get in there, I'm not trying to get the crowd into it. I'm, this is like my happy, safe place. So it's like I don't know. it's very peaceful for me. So like, and I think my face reflects it, right? Because I look very serene. Um, I guess. Yeah, Stoic. calm. Yeah, just calm and you know, just at peace. No, and yeah, I mean when so I you, so your heart's not your heart's not pumping through your chest, or does or does that does, really. or does that feeling bring you peace? Maybe it brings me a little peace, but I don't right feel on. like the like this whole camp. I was waiting for like the nervous part to kick in. So we're like, "Fuck, I'm scared!" Like, and it never really kicked in until, and even then, it didn't really kick in. When I got in the cage, because he walked out first, um, I walked into the cage, and then uh, I looked across at him, and he had just like this like stare at me, and I was like, yeah, "Oh so, shit!" Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, "Oh shit, we're about to fight!" Like, this guy wants to eat <laughs> like my that, food. Like that's when it clicked, and I was like, "Oh yeah. damn, I'm about to fight!" Like it's yeah. great. Even the morning of the fight. No yeah. shit. I was. No uh, shit. I fell asleep on my couch because I couldn't get comfortable after the weight cut because I couldn't sleep, and. Um, I woke up in the morning and was like, oh, shit, I have to get into a fist fight today. That's crazy. <laughs> like, right, that's, right. A cra- that's a crazy thing to, like, just wake up and, like, yeah, I'm going to go do this today in a couple hours. I'm just going to go fight some dude and then come yeah. home. Right. You know, like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I'll be, so that's, yeah, so that's not to that morning it hit you. Nah, even then I was just, like, I was more happy than, like. If I'm I'm a weird person. I'm a yeah, so you off. so you so you don't you don't yeah you don't really feel like feel the pressure of the fight until you look in the ring. You look at this even, guy. And he's, even he's this one, I didn't really feel like scared. I was just like, oh, he's gonna fight me. Yeah, you know, so. yeah, like another, <laughs> another day, yeah. another dollar. Yeah, it, was, it didn't. I don't know. Maybe the next one it'll kick in. And like, oh shit, I'm terrified. So, so so I went into Paradigm one time, and this is like I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I kind of already kind of knew the flow of paradigm. You know, and like I said, it was just the sparring on Fridays with you sometimes. And then I don't know if it was Wednesdays. Then that's when Colin had the uh, MMAs. M- I think we talked about this last episode, but they had the MMA class with Colin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then I don't know, man. A few of y'all were pretty crazy in there because then I remember walking in one time and then you and I guess you and Homeboy were just like exchanging kicks, like who can kick harder and just going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. It was I another black dude. Pretty, I take my, oh, I don't know who the fuck that was. But then, but I don't know. I, I, animal, I, animal, I, animal status, let's kick each other. See, let's, let's kick each other until someone, someone feels it. Well, no, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it was just more, um, I mean, because they were, they were already getting, I think y'all would do your little talking and then all of a sudden y'all would start sparring and going about it because usually that's what MMA was when I used to see it. Yeah, I mean, y'all would pretty much be physical training, like you know, like sparring. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just saying. Like my whole point was just to say that you know, you you seemed like you pretty had your mind set already. You know, doing what you were doing. Yeah, you seemed pretty calm and pretty comfortable in your environment there. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, this fight was a little, it's a little odd. Um. So what's uh? How do you feel? How do you feel post fight, man? The fight's done. How do you how do you feel now, bro? A week, a week, a week later, fast forward. Um. How do you, how do you feel now? You know. How do I feel exactly now? Exactly. A week later. Uh, just my hand hurts. My hand really fucking hurts. <laughs> from because I kept catching them on like the eyebrow, like top of the head, and that shit. That's hard, like the hard, hardest hard part. Bone, of, hard bone parts. Yeah, and like I would catch like sometimes with like the back of my hand or like not really the front of my knuckle, but like the top of it and. Yeah, my hand's a little fucked, but yeah. Um, 
I feel normal. <laughs> good, good. I mean, yeah. Health wise, health wise, you feel good besides your hand being hand being a little sore. Good man. Good. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Like good. even my knee doesn't hurt. Um, my foot hurts from some kicks, but uh, from throwing some kicks. But I feel, eh, I'm ready to hop back in. They had a card in like four weeks, but I didn't know if I wanted to drop to 45 twice in a month. So. Yeah, yeah. So I'll probably push it out to like June, July. Because, man, that's harsh on the body. Yeah, I cut, I want to say 11 pounds, I think, or 10 or something like that. In like four hours or so. Something um, like that. The, before you weighed in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, yeah, you were uh, cutting, yeah, damn. So what what is that, I guess, the last minute cutting? Is that just like you're just, just drinking water and just... Yeah, the week of you're drinking water. Uh, like two gallons Monday. Let's say you cut your weight on Friday, weigh in Saturday, fight Sunday. Um, weigh uh, two gallons Monday, a gallon and a half Tuesday, a gallon Wednesday, half a gallon Thursday, maybe a little less. And then Friday, the day of the cut, maybe like half a water bottle. Yeah. And... Uh, Something light in your stomach to give your body the energy to push out the water. Because if you don't eat, when you do the weight cut, your body won't have the energy to like work and wow. push out that water. So like, uh, what did I do? I think I did like an egg. <laughs> and a an boiled egg, egg or like what? An, yeah, like a boiled egg. Uh, no, I don't even think it was a boiled egg. No, I think I just did berries. Yeah. Like blackberries, strawberries. Wow. Like, because it also is just mostly water. Yeah. Like it doesn't, it doesn't hold a lot of weight in your body, uh, but it's like instant energy. So I was eating that throughout, even throughout the cut, through the actual cut, I was like go and sneak a couple berries just to, Sustain. I guess, help the mental. Yeah. yeah. Cause that shit sucks. It's really annoying. It, it, more than it hurts. It's really annoying. You gotta be super disciplined to do that, man. Yeah. 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 And it's crazy cause I'm not that disciplined. Yeah. I'm not a very disciplined. Individual. No, life. like. Making sure I do all the jiu-jitsu classes, all the wrestling classes, and making sure I'm not drinking all the time or eating no, that's a bunch what I'm of saying. bullshit. Like, I'm not disciplined in that at all, but I do this somehow, so I don't know. Maybe yeah. I'll click on one day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that little added discipline may, may, you know, may help you in some, in some way. I don't know. You know seems like you know, you're, you're pretty much a fucking natural, you know? <clears throat> I think a lot of this came naturally, Maybe. Um. Well, uh, well, you know, well, I guess we'll wa- I guess we'll watch the watch. Yeah, the you want to? We can go ahead and watch the fight. You want because yeah, you haven't if, seen if it. we want, it's it's weird, but I will. And then watch you can kind of just watch it. We, I mean, I'm gonna look right there and watch it. You know? Yeah, yeah. I've never, I've haven't watched it. I don't. I'm not a fan of watching my fights. <laughs> right. Yeah. Everybody's like, "Where can I find it?" I'm like, "I don't. I haven't looked that, for it. I don't fucking know." Is that because you're a critic, or it's just it's just weird and odd to um, watch yourself on TV? It's kind of cringy to me. I don't know. It's just. Look at me doing I, shit. I, you know, I, I, right, weird. right, right. I would think it's like, uh, I mean, I don't know. Like when I do my open mics, it's kind of weird watching myself. Cause you're right. Like, yeah, it's it, makes, weird me un- watching it makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah. It's very weird. But no, let's push are you, still, are you Are you cool with it? Yeah, let's watch it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool, let's watch it, man. Uh, it, before, before, we, before we get started, man, congratulations on, on the dub, brother. Oh, thank you, First man. and foremost, man. You know, you won. Mm. You're healthy. You're good. Yeah, on to, yeah, the, that's on to the next fight, right? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Hell yeah. I had an 11-inch reach advantage. I didn't know that. That's not right. Oh, he's a there old. he is. He's 33? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a really cool guy. He was pretty cool. Um, He's like an ex-Marine or ex-Army. Oh, right on, right on. oh he's a veteran. Appreciate the service, homie. Yeah, I wonder if I get in trouble for having critique about the refs. Nah, well, what, what would you get? <laughs> nah, this is this, that's probably like her first fight. I'm not gonna do that to it's, you. It's your, it's your opinion, man. You <laughs> no, no, that was another thing. Sucked. Well, because the, the refing sucked. Man, I got poked in the fucking eye. Like I still have like a fucking scratch on my eyelid. Do, I don't man. know if I, I don't know if he caught me with his nail, like his thumb or something, but I definitely have a cut on my eye. Yeah, and. 
Oh, that's when it locked in. He was looking at me like that, and I was like, oh, shit, he you wants to hit me. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. You're like, you're like my <laughs> Yeah. No, he's walking and back then and literally forth. right behind me is all of my family, so I can hear them all fucking yelling, and I'm just like, fuck, shut up. How, how much family you got in there? Like a, do- a dozen it's people? A be- no, it's like 50 people. Wow. Uh, see, even my knee was bothering me like right before. What's that? I said my knee was bothering me right before. Yeah, I could see myself trying to make it pop. Yeah. yeah. Keeping that composure. <laughs> no, nah, I was singing a song in my head. I oh. think I was singing a Beach Bees song <laughs> when he was reading off my thing. I was Good. singing like uh, a. So you like I you like how just... deep is your love? Is what I was singing in my head. That's good so shit. Boom. I really need. Man, this light is ruining. Oh shit! I didn't even see that. Yeah. It's because of the white this. canvas. Yeah, the white canvas. Unless I was to. Uh, Ah, uh, see, I kept catching with that out, that back. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, you've always I look been good big with as this. Fuck, holy shit. Yeah, dude, you, you you are. I never noticed I was that big. I still don't think I'm that big of a person, but. How tall are you, brother? Uh, six one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, I was a little gun shy. I couldn't find the jab, and he had awkward striking, and I knew it was gonna catch me. Somehow. And I was a little gun shy on just letting my hands go. Yeah. Is that because you want to be calculated and kind of? I just didn't want to get caught because he was a he had heavy hands and he missed weight by five pounds, so he added extra weight advantage. But I still took the fight because I sold all these tickets and I was just confident in me. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. I felt the power in his hands and I was like, "Damn, that sucks." Let me <laughs> not let me not get caught by that shit. Right. Right. Ooh. Those two hurt. Yeah. That's when I realized I was like, oh, this motherfucker hits hard. Yeah, this motherfucker hit, huh? Ah, dude, but like I said, I mean, outside. I mean, look at you, man. You keeping your composure. You, you already, you know. Oh, I didn't know I even threw that. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. I, I, I'm in standing in softball. That's not even my stance. Like, that's not my. Oh, yeah, you had caught him there too. Yeah, see, I'm yeah. just like relaxed. I'm not like, like this natural. is my this is my happy place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You make a natural. I gotta in- stop backing straight up like a dumbass, but you know that's cool. It seems like you make in fight in fight adjustments. You know, like I said, you just went southpaw, didn't even realize it. It's probably a natural. Yeah, I didn't adjustment. even know I did that. I have I have not watched the fight at all. Those cuts, fucking. I mean, those punches cut him on his nose. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> that adrenaline, though, still pumping, though. Maybe he hit me hard or something. I just forgot. Because you said that about your last, one of your fights last podcast. You had said uh, that when you I hurt mean, your it's knee. it's so quick. Yeah, you, you were like, really yeah, I don't remember. remember a lot of things. Right. But, I mean, like I said, I would think I because of those the... those hurt. Those knees to my inner thigh, that shit sucks. Yeah, that's... that's I started, yeah. That shit yeah. really hurts. It's like right above the, the knee. Your, yeah, the inside of your thigh is such a... Hit their spot, huh? Yeah, and it sucks. We were good defense. There you go. I'm such a dick for doing this. <laughs> uh, I don't ever shoot for takedowns. Not even in the gym. I don't. I don't. I don't know why I fucking did that. Why not use that? Take advantage of that size, man. You helped him up, huh? Yeah, I don't. I don't know why I did that either. I just. I'm just. I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those. No, I'm just not one of those guys that are like, "Fuck you," and like, unless we have real issues. Right. Like, we're just. We signed a contract. Like, yeah, I'll punch him. He'll punch me. Like, it's nothing personal. Yeah. That's no business, like Jonah, right? And he was pretty cool. Damn, that was a nice check hook. Do Do you you ever catch these guys? Yeah, see that that knee, man. Ooh. Does anybody, yeah, that is, that, is that a thing? Shit talking before the fight? Oh, no, 100% it's a thing. But, like, those are the guys that are trying to fucking build themselves up. Right, right, right. And get themselves going for the fight. Like, right. I don't do that. No, that shit's weird to me. Right. Interesting. That's an interesting take. That's more of people, you know, working with their arms until Oh, look, his eyes already swollen right there. Yeah, you got the guy. No, I saw him after the fight. His eye was pretty, uh... 
pretty swell. Yeah, swell. Yeah, and I can hear my family. I look back and like fucking smile at them. Just, <laughs> fuck, I wish they would stop talking to their <laughs> <laughs> It's really annoying, man. Uh, yeah, right, man. That's a, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of support, though. That's good support, man. Ah, 50, see, I got it. Ah. Boom, boom. I was trying to fucking land that. <laughs> Yeah, fucking see the ref. I clearly got poked in the eye. But she, they only had her for the prelims, didn't they not? Because they switched up after that. They switched up uh, referees. Yeah, I ate a couple punches here. That kind of hurt. And my <laughs> eye was hurt. still fucking bothering me. I couldn't see like the rest of this fucking round out of that yeah. one eye. Even a cup up until a couple days ago, my eye was still like no shit. Wow. weird. Yeah. Was it was it blood? Was it leaking pretty bad there? Then there? It scratched me, and I felt it get warm, and <clears> I <throat> could. Was that an elbow? Uh, maybe not. But um, like I could tell it was bleeding because my eye got hot, and blood in your eye fucking sucks. Oh. Like it really burns. Um, no shit. So it started to burn a little bit. Yeah, look at your gun. Your yeah, like I couldn't. Your I'm trying to fucking. I oh, see that hurt him. Yeah, like this whole round, I'm just like in survive mode. I was like, I don't even. Even if I lose this round, I don't care. I'm just trying to make it to the next one so I can see. Right. Oh, I got two takedowns. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. I really don't know what his game plan was to take me down, hold me. I talked to his coach after the fight. His his, his game plan was to hold me against the fence, wear me down. And then like take me, take me down. So 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 after the fight, they'll tell you, they'll tell you kind of the game plan. They'll share that with you. Yeah, I mean, cause you kind of know as the fight's going right, on. Right, right. You know? That's what you're trying to do. They're like, yeah, they can affirm that. Yeah, we're just. Yeah, you kind of know. <laughs> it's not that bad of a fight now that I watch it. After the fight, I was like, this fight fucking sucked. It was boring, but it it wasn't that boring now. That I, nah, what are you talking about? Nah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> you probably think it's boring because you were in the fight. <laughs> yeah, and I was probably wanting to like strike more. And... But see, like you were saying, I mean, the guy's plan was to take you down, so he was. But this is good for me to like in my mental and like my cardio, knowing I have a guy that missed weight, heavier guy, right, strong guy, trying to like just wear on me, and you know, I was like, okay, I can do that. I can, I can play this game. There you go. I mean, can we say, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, what, Sean O'Malley, he's what? Yo, my arms are so long. <laughs> Sean O'Malley, how much does he weigh? Uh, he fights at 35. Yeah, so, I mean, and he's the same height as you, is he not? Uh, no, I don't think he's that tall. Yeah, he said the same thing, he's like long limbs. Yeah, see, he's tired. Yeah. You got that lead? I heard him comment that the left eye was pretty jacked up too. That's all those check hooks I was catching him with. So does it feel nice? Yeah, not shout that- out to fucking Cody and Paul for cornering me. I love those guys. <laughs> I love all of my teammates, like my core teammates. That I, no disrespect to any of my other teammates, right. but the ones that I'm like super close with, like yeah, man. Cody, Paul, Jacob, Val, Becca. Oh, they were all um, there. Gabe. Shops those cats. Velarde. Uh, there's probably a couple more that I just can't think of because I've been drinking, but... <laughs> yeah, you, you, you like your team, man. You got a solid, yeah, you like you got a solid I, team, huh? Yeah, I love you guys, but also fuck you guys. But I love you guys, <laughs> but fuck y'all. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> so what, what do you... Uh, what does Malik want after this? Oh, uh, yeah, look. That's Malik being huh? shit. Yeah, I was pissed. Yeah. It's all defending the takedowns. It was just bothering me. But as soon as that bell fucking rings, it's like, fuck it, let's go. And then you're in. Yeah, and you, you can't even tell. Then I start kicking with it, like, it's crazy. Last time they didn't hit me with no copyright, so I don't think this time they're going to hit uh, me. Catch them again. It's YouTube. Ah, uh, see, I got to be quicker off that. And I got to stop settling along the cage. And she was telling me I hit him in the back of the head, and I didn't. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. not great. I'm I'm sorry. I take that back. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm sorry. That she might not be like oh, I feel super it. experienced. So I I and there's the finish. Oh. Boom. That was it. Done. Yeah. 
Rewind that, man. It didn't. It didn't take too long. That, that fool was just like. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Right there. Ah, I didn't so. even lock it in. Yeah. One more time. One more and time. I'm not even the fucking jujitsu guy. <laughs> like, I don't go for submissions in the gym unless you just absolutely give it to me. So, yeah, see, boom, you have, and then. So you already knew right there. You were just like, let me go ahead and take advantage of it. Yeah. Done. Just like that. <laughs> Were you tired right after that? You were already like, ah. You I had just... caught my second win. I wasn't that tired. Well, um, I mean, but I mean, but I mean, I'm guessing after 10 weeks, all that, and yeah, then you're just like, like it's a uh, pretty... yeah, you're just like, all right, I'm done. Nah, you but know? that's a great guy, man. Shout out to that's awesome. Esteban uh, Steven Barrera. He's a cool dude. How satisfying is that, though, man? You, you put him in 10 weeks of training. Fucking go, go, no, go, go the injuries, man. It's not then... satisfying. It's more relieving. <clears throat> really? Okay. It's, it's relief, like, huh? Yeah, because you get to a certain point in camp where you're like, I just want to get this done with. Like, I just want to get in there. Like, can we fight tomorrow? Like, I just want to get right, in yeah. there. <laughs> right. Like, I'm, ready, I'm ready for the fight. Boom. And I just want to get this over with because I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm, right. Boom. Me. Right. And then right there, you're just like. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I have a submission on my record now. What a fucking Is that are you are you are you grateful with submission or would you rather knock a motherfucker out? Um I'd rather <laughs> knock somebody out, go through like a three round fucking striking war, but I just think grappling and all that stuff is just boring. No, it's just I, I boring. believe the same boring for I, you I believe or it boring too. for the crowd or both. Both. And me personally, like I, I wanna know. even if I like even if I uh, lose the striking battle, I get knocked out. Like, I had fun, you know? Like, I don't want to yeah. grapple and sniff each other's crotches for fucking 15 minutes. Fuck, you know? Right, right. <laughs> like, right. Let's, let, let, like, let's get somebody dropped. Like, yeah. somebody go to sleep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Shit sucks. Yeah. That's, that's, that's certainly what the fans want to see. I mean, I mean, just being, you know, being, being a fan, I definitely, you know, I love, you, know you want to see somebody go, go to sleep, man. You know? Yeah, just like a good technical. Like you, like you said, three 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 rounds of fucking slow fist, and then round three, someone goes bye bye night night. Yeah, like you know, that's pretty fun to me. But you know, that yeah. was actually not that bad of a fight. I took a picture with like some kids afterwards. They like came up and found me. I was like, can we take a picture with you? And I was like, oh, that's cool, this man. This is what this is what somewhat fame feels like. Because if I ever get fame, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be bad. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be, be bad. You think yeah, so? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, that's why. That's why. And it's good that, that I know that well, about you, myself you, you, already. You, 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 <laughs> it's good, yeah, it's good. It's good. You're upfront about that. But like, like you, you, you mentioned earlier, you know, you have fifty people behind you. So it sounds like you know. Yeah, I saw you'll have, you'll, you'll have people, fight. and those are all your people, right? Like family, you know, family, loved ones. Yeah, all family, friends, some randoms. Some randoms. <laughs> yeah, some randoms. That yeah. probably shouldn't have been invited, but fuck it. Yeah, well, ho- ho- hopefully, hopefully, by, hopefully, you know, by, by the time you make it big, man, you have a good team around you, man, to keep your ass. Oh no, I have an amazing team. Like, keep your ass in line. Moving to, wow, oh, this is gonna sound fucked up. Moving to uh, Maine was a really great choice for me personally. Yeah. Um, I feel that. Um. Damn, I should never even started this conversation. <laughs> um, no, man. You, I mean, dude, tell you know, tell, tell tell us about your your real life experience, man. Going transitioning um, from gym to gym, man. Like you know, hey, you can screw over again. Yeah, I um, it was it was just good for me in my growth right. to be surrounded by because like my coach, Kruba Perez is yeah. a MMA legend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, fight legend, just period in the fight game. So, Bob has, since day one, taken me in with open arms. Uh, when I couldn't afford the, like, monthly gym membership, he, we worked out something. He figured something out, And yeah. before he even fucking knew me. Yeah. I don't even think he knew me, like, a week or two. Yeah. That's real. 
and he that's was just real. like, "Hey, man, whatever you can pay, just like we'll figure it out." Like, it's, right? Yeah, that's it's real, good. man. Dude, shout, you know? shout out to a real motherfuckers, man. You don't, and, you don't come across those too much. Yeah, and Bob, and then I met his wife, and I met uh, some of their kids, and they would invite me over for like. Their uh, family dinners and stuff. Yeah, family parties and like the Christmas yeah. parties that they do, and they just, they just take took me in, like I was their son. Like literally, me and Bob have like a father son relationship. Yeah, it's really like if I need, like right now, if I go home and get evicted out of my place or some shit, I could call Bob one hundred percent. Yeah, at He'll one out. in the morning, and I can come sleep in one of his rooms in his house or like sleep on a couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Like, Bob is such an amazing, genuine, good guy. Dude, real. Um, real. And he happens to be one of the best MMA coaches, one of the best fight coaches, period, in the world. That's fucking badass. So ass. it's like, and he, he's not one to brag. He's yeah. not one to. I know, I know he's always in the, kind of off to the. Like yeah, he Bob's not one to like. Behind the curtain, he kind of seems. Because you have those coaches that like, they're like macho, like, oh, um, I have this fighter, I have this fighter. Bob has had. Bob has had people come in particularly to work with him. Right. Like other fighters that don't even train at our gym. But just right. to come and do like a couple weeks with him because their agent or whoever the fuck knows. This guy knows his shit and he's really good. But he just doesn't brag and boast about, you know, his uh, accolades and what he knows. But Yeah, he's an humble, uh, an, an, an humble individual. Very, very humble. Yeah. Almost yeah. too humble. <laughs> I yeah. was telling him, I was like... Man, you should just start talking shit. No, that's but, way, that's but that's just doing, not man. him. Yeah, he's he's such. I love Bob to death. He's yeah, that, that, guy, that guy's man. virtues and values are somewhere you know uh, that the world probably won't can't identify with. Yeah, no, he's definitely a very unique, uh, genuine individual. Good man. Yeah, he's really great. How long how long ago did you uh, join this Main Street? When did you make the transition? Um, I came to Main. Maybe 2020, 2021? When did COVID happen? No, 2020. Yeah. Oh, shit. So, no, before so that. You, so, you've been there for four years. Well, no, At I mean, well, well, he was. Where'd you, where'd you come from? But, but no, well, he, well, no, you, because you started, like, I think it was 2022 at Main Street, 2021, right? No, nah, I was there before. Mm. Well, no, I mean, because I remember, I used, uh, obviously, I used to see you at Paradigm a lot, and then I know, I'd have to, uh, and then it was like one of the first few smokers that we had at Paradigm. That's when then you came in, and then you were you were <laughs> <'Cause I> have, <laughs> you were having uh, to switch um, from side to side, like from Main Street to Paradigm, <laughs> Paradigm to Main Street. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so three years ago, I had a Muay Thai fight, and I was already at Paradigm. That was twenty twenty. Yeah. So I was there like twenty nineteen. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the year COVID happened. COVID happened twenty nineteen. Right? No, 2020. 2020? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, 2020. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. My daughter was born in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. 2020. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been there about a little under four years. Right on. So the yeah, last deep roots. The last time I was training at, I mean, my last day I was at Main Street. <laughs> uh, yeah, Holland was there. And then, I, of course. Yeah, he comes in um, when he has like yeah. big fights scheduled. Uh, like another example, he comes in particularly for Bob. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but that that was my thing. Like I went in there Saturday, and then of course Bob was there, and and yeah, Holland was at it, and then of mm -hmm. course I saw Holland give you a heads up, you know, kind of. Oh yeah, well, no, yeah, Holland, yeah, cool. you, Holland knows you, so yeah, I mean, me, Holland's a funny ass guy. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. He's a pretty cool dude, and he's a. Uh, I've known Kevin for. Is he a UFC UFC fighter? Yeah, Kevin yeah, he's Holland. like top. Yeah, uh, I don't know what his rank is right now. I don't have the thing he pulled up, but um, I know he's like top fifteen, top ten. Uh -oh. Um, UFC fighter, big name, sells a lot. Oh yeah, you remember he? Um, I mean Nate Diaz, uh, Jamov. Like I guess he didn't make weight, and then Holland got flipped over. Because remember it was supposed to be Nate Diaz and Jamov, and then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at the last yeah, minute, so Holland, Holland. So Holland's always been the type to just fall into fights too. Yeah, you know, him he's been and uh, him and Travis. He never says no. Uh, not Travis. What the fuck? Uh, Terrence McKinney. He's another UFC guy. Where's is Holland UFC from? Guy. From H Town. Uh, Dallas. He, right. he yeah. lives in Dallas, but they just drive down here. To get, maybe to like to once a month, just to dream about. Wow. And and then uh, the reason, yeah, well, and then that's why I was bringing him up because I was saying like you know, I mean. 
I believe Bob is kind of like in the back, but like I, like you said, he's pretty well. I mean, Bob's the fucking master puppeteer. Yeah, fucking. Bob's a Svengali, man. Yeah, he's the <laughs> he's the dark magician in the back, kind of. And then I think he, uh, I think on his Instagram so, yeah. he had like. Uh, oh, you, pic- y'all want to? You know, Bob's a mad scientist. Who's a mad scientist? Bob is a legit scientist. No shit. What did what, what he make? I have no fucking idea, but <laughs> I think shit. I know he has his degree in bioscience or okay. stuff with the ground or oh, what, uh, it's either chemicals or the ground. It's right. one Geo- of the two. Geology. Right. He's some type of like earth scientist Geologist or something. Right. something. Right. Yeah. Geologist and he college, stopped doing that. Or some shit. Yeah, he stopped doing that to fucking to fight to break, yeah. to break faces. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, Bob never had a lot of fights. No, no, he just trained. He just he um he did fight. He had he had well, fights. Well, that's what I was gonna say. He knew like um because back back in our day we watched Bloodsport. Remember, I was telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. like he had he Same knew deal. he knew fighters in the movie. He or, probably does. Or he knew he knew fighters in Bloodsport. Right on. Yeah, he like actually trained. Yeah, with Bob, some, Bob's he a knew some legend. he some guys in there, and I, all I I mean I can't really recall right now, but like I remember in his Instagram in his Instagram he actually had uh, pictures of in the eighties or nineties with these yeah, old Bob. school kickboxers. <laughs> no shit, Bob is fucking hilarious. Man. Yeah, so I was like, damn, He's one of the funniest people I know. Is fucking Bob. Is he Brazilian? <laughs> no, Bob's a I think Mexican blood, native blood. Yeah. He's Hispanic for sure. Yeah. Uh, but you, nobody would ever think that he's. He just looks like a white guy. <laughs> but, I feel, I feel, but I feel it's like kind of like the custom no, model. He doesn't look like a white guy. He is looks like is he from Houston? Is he Houston? Nah. Yes. Is he? I think That's so. Cool, Let's go. I'll, I'll always wonder yeah. how, how deep. I'll, I'll always, you know, I always wonder and find it fascinating how deep you know the fight game runs in, in Houston in the city. Well, he's been doing. He's been on the Houston fight scene since like ninety seven, ninety eight, I think. So he's been doing this over 20 years easily. Yeah. And that's just in like Muay Thai MMA. I think boxing gets like 28 years, 30 years or something like that. Wow. So he has well over 30 years of just fight experience. Wow. Yeah. He's probably he's probably one of the local. His birthday is coming up too. I need to buy him a birthday gift. (laughs) He'll be 50. Okay. So he's been doing his okay. most of his life. Yeah, and he's still he's still yeah. fairly young. And man. he's still yeah, he can still he's, like, he's got like twenty years in him. Yeah, like there'll be days of bad, uh, Bob, bad. Bob will fucking like hold pads and he'll like say like take him down. He'll be on the bottom like holding the pads for like elbows or grappling with us and shit. I'm like, oh shit, Bob's feeling good today. Yeah, Bob's, <laughs> Bob's got some juice, huh? You know, yeah, Bob's got know. some juice today, man. Dude, Bob's 50. Bob's got a good 20 years, at least 20 years of, of training you guys, man. So No, nah, I told, he was talking about, he was trying to talk about like retiring and when he was going to hang it up and I was like, no, 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 no. Right. It's like, you can't retire till I retire. Right. So you got another at least 10 years in you. Right. So I'm right. sorry, but yeah, you're not retiring until... I retired, so. But I was gonna say that's kind of like the whole uh, Customato and uh, Tyson, Tyson relationship. Yeah. Yeah, man. You've heard about the, that relationship, right? Um. Yeah, he kind of just took him out of the slum. Yeah, and, man. You know, kind of saved him. Father figure, man, a good man. You know, someone who teaches you life lessons, not just you know teaches you the skills you need to survive, but also teaches you in the ring. But also at the same time. That's another you- really good thing that Bob is really good at. Like fuck fighting, he cares about us. Like, because Bob is really good at telling. Because I'm a weird individual. Some yeah. days I'll come to the gym and not talk to anybody for yeah. like a couple of days. He's like, and he'll pull me to the side and say, hey, man, if, you're, if there's anything wrong, call me or come over. Right. Like, talk to me. Right. If he sees me dealing with like some female and like, you know, he's like, hey, she's not good for you. Right. Like, let's get rid of that. Right. You know? right. Like, he's, yeah. he's really good at just, like, taking care of us just as people. Not get rid of that. That's bad. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he's just like, hey, be careful. Like, I don't think this is the best yeah. situation for you. So, like, he's really good at just, you know, making sure we're okay as guidance, individual. Bro- gu- guidance, brother. Because like, if I'm not okay at home, I can't fight. Like, you know. I mean, you're a pretty quiet dude. Typically. You are a pretty quiet dude, because even when I'm like, hey, man, uh, podcast, you're like, uh, yeah, yeah, just get with me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. I'm just, uh, yeah, I, I'm. <laughs> no, but I'm, I know I know how you are. I, I know yeah, you, around you know, the so, people I, that so I don't I'm, take like, it personal. I'm comfortable around, and like, <laughs> like my gym guys, and like, I'm a totally different person, but like, yeah. if you catch me on just like a down day, like, 
I might no say words. like I might say like one or two words. Yeah, man. Yeah. I might seem like a dick, but yeah. No, nah, I, I, I don't take it like that. Like <laughs> I said, no, I, 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 I know I know you. So then I'm like, yeah, he just you know Malik, but. I tell you, he, he will spar you, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, have. for sure. <laughs> you'll, you'll spar before you talk, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. Punch you for sure. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. We're fucking. Yeah. We had, we had, we had fake, we had fake IDs. I was always kind of a, a bigger dude anyway, so I, I really, I had, you know, I have my few we're, stores. We're recording now. We're live. We're back on. Oh, I definitely What's had a fake guys? ID as a fucking high schooler. What's up, guys? Probably we're back on, say that guys. On camera, but fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I had a fake ID for sure. Yeah, fake ID for so, what? Yeah. I got, I got my back own. on. I think I had a homegirl that made them. Okay. Yeah, and we would just go. I'm by not gonna like, say the name of mine because the guy might be wanted, man, but. Yeah, that's why he was I from my words. From he was from he was from North North and South Dakota. I know that. I remember that much. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely had a fake ID. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah that's that's funny. It's always, it's always interesting how people start how people started partying and drinking. You know, at, at, when they were young in the city, especially in this city. You know. So what start. is what is this? What, what's happening right dumb, now? Dumb, dumb, Jake Paul, but genius with marketing. Is uh, fighting Mike Tyson. He's, he's riding the wave, man. And he's the wave. I give it to Paul for all the marketing that he's doing, because this guy is he's going to pay. He's going to get paid quite a bit, no matter what. Yeah, I mean, what does Netflix really know about sh- about uh, promoting a boxing match? You know, nothing. It's two names that you yeah. don't need to promote. They don't, yeah, it's so, Mike Tyson. What do they need to know about promoting? Yeah, it's Mike. You know, I personally believe that it's a big flop. Yeah. It won't be a flop. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, in general, like it's not. We're like we're we're not gonna see, like like all, all I'm saying is like I, I knew. I mean, you're not gonna get a fucking world championship boxing exactly. match, but right. it's still Mike Tyson, and he looks exactly. fucking scary. Yeah. So this this is about entertainment, right? A hundred percent. So and, that, and that's all, right? Um. Yeah. Like if Jake wins, which he, I don't know. If Jake wins, like you can't just brag about this. No, you beat a sixty-year-old Mike Tyson. Like you can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't. It's not. It's not the same as saying I beat Mike Tyson twenty years ago. Yeah, like you when, can't. when it wouldn't matter and it counted and it was it was relevant. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't believe in the fight either. But I mean, I Mike, <clears throat> Mike, and. And me being a fighter and seeing that the videos that he's been posting and the look on his face, yeah, I know that place. He, you think like you think I know, all in dead ass, dead ass. I know that sick fucking fighter dark place that you have to be to really want to go out there and wow. hurt somebody. Yeah, and Mike is a true warrior. Yeah, and that's not somebody that I would want to fuck with at sixty, sixty five. Like I, I just would leave that guy alone because. <laughs> He's talked about it a lot of times. He used to say he cried before his fights because of what he had to do to people. Like, I'm crying for you right now before I walk out. Like, that's a, that doesn't just 
change. That doesn't just turn off. Right. You know, right. you can't just turn that off. So you, so you think you, so you think Mike's all in? This is Mike's gonna come out here and, and oh no, it. he's he's training his ass off for, for sure. Oh, that's a, well, then, then it's gonna be it's gonna be a good fight, I think, Tristan. Yeah, no, he's, you he's d- you, yeah, don't no dispute. no 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 because there's it's it's still known as an exhibition fight. It's not known. It's not compared to like. Well, man, Tank and uh, Ryan Garcia. It's it's still no. It's an exhibition. Yeah. Well, no. Well, yeah. There's rules with, with those type of fights. It's like, see, it's almost like Roy Roy and Tyson. Like that fight wasn't a hundred percent on each, either end. They're like, chill yeah, out. It doesn't go on your record. Don't, don't. Well, no. I'm but I'm just saying like prior before the Tyson and Roy Jones Roy Jones fight, they were like, take it easy. Now they didn't really take it easy, so they just had to stop it. I mean, they they stopped. I mean, like. All I'm saying that there's times where like it's it's not gonna be, I mean now now they can go in and then like you said like this is not, this is but not no like but like you said what, if what, they're what, fighting Tyson he doesn't have the the he doesn't have the logic in his head to just turn that part of himself off right right so like it's, even it's, those punches that he was throwing at Roy were not like just friendly sparring punches like those hurt. So this, I mean, so so Tyson's in it to fight. So I mean, that, that makes that thing that just hearing you talk about it, Malik, and you think you think Tyson's in this thing to to for the win. I mean, it makes that makes it exciting, you know. Yeah, I, I like he's, I'll, I'll he's not good he's, entertainment worth the watch. He's in a uh, he's in a fuck place right now, and I can tell by the look on his face in these videos. Yeah, and it's not. Uh, oh no, we'll watch it right. That's not a man I'd want to fuck with. Where's man? T- talk about that. that and he that still dark has place. time to prepare for it. Like right. he looks for a fifty-seven-year-old man. <laughs> yeah, he's like a dad that I would want to fuck with. You know, like fuck that. Like Mike, that, dude. Mike Tyson. Mike and Tyson if you looks- turn that my monster back on, you can't turn it oh, off. Oh yeah, this is this is the one. That's that the that's it. the yeah. video. Yeah, like, where you should like- not be doing this at fucking sixty. Yeah. And then and then when he says like. Day three, and you still want to fuck with me? Yeah, like look, look at his, his eyes. We're just like, yeah, like his expression. Yeah, like fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. Fuck that. I like it. I like it. I, no, I love it. Yeah, I yeah. love it. There we We're go. Like, there we go. Fuck that. There we go. Like, I, I'll stop it. Like right when he like you see you see the expression on his you face. You see the look on his face. Like, he's like, yeah. Boom, like boom, look at that boom, fucking boom. nah! I don't yeah, want no boom. parts. Okay, of that. it's right there. <laughs> That's the face. Right. Yeah, I that, want no fucking parts yeah. of that fifty-seven-year-old face. Is that that war stare? The, it's no. Nah, I just see the darkness in his eyes. Yeah. Like I, I can see it. There like go. there's trouble. Like, there's this, there's trauma. There's fighting yeah. is a very dark thing. Yeah. To have to put yourself into. Uh huh. And being a fighter and then just knowing it myself. Like you have to really put yourself in what a if, fucked place. What is, what is well, well, I feel like, you have to be what, what, kind what, of what controlled that, what, on what it, right? Is, what is that? What is that uh, fucked place like, man? What is that fucked dark it's not place a like? Good place. It's like. What, like how would you describe it? It's just, like. It's like cutting yourself, right? It, it not is, cutting it, yourself literally, but like getting like a cut from a nail or just ah oh, fuck, I cut my finger. Uh huh. You know, and heals. But then you cut it again, Jesus. and then it just bleeds worse, or like it bleeds, like like that. That's the face. Yeah. That man is troubled. It's not. Yeah. It's not like he's 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 Good. he's held it together. Good. But like once you unlock that fucking door, it can't, you can't, you close, can't it. close it. Good. Yeah. But 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 have in mind that like that's what I'm saying. Thirty years ahead of Jake Paul though, man. You know. You can't yeah. close that door. And, 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 okay, but even if the door is open, yeah. Like I feel. Like biology, science, like thirty years. Now, now he has the and heart, and he's on the like probably like the best supplements. He's on the best regimens. I don't. Yeah, I they do that. Taking, I doubt he's taking any steroids or anything. He's, like, got, he's got the best nutritionist. Yeah, and, like and Rogan, Rogan, be, he did like like he was doing testing with stem cells as well. Yeah, some shit like, like that. Fuck that. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. He, <laughs> he, and he, once he, you open up that scab again and it bleeds <laughs> more than it did the first time, you yeah. can't just you can't just turn that off. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where, where do you, where do you, where, when you talk about going that dark place, are those is that, is that are those from is that from old memories and past experiences? Um, is that is that is that from the the worst fears and the worst times fears. in your life when you're a Not child? Not really fears. It's just kind of life experiences. You start to think about uh, where you've been, how far you've come, 
And for me personally, I have to put myself back into like 10 year old me, 15 year old me, and maybe. Those, those, 20, 21 year old me. Are those dark times in your life where you Oh, really? yeah, for sure. They're fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's cool because I can like laugh about it now and like crack Good. jokes and not really give a fuck. But yeah. Uh, yeah, for me to fight and typically fight week and like the week or two after are like the most dreadful times that I don't really enjoy. But uh, does that. So, so fighting must be therapy to. to to get through those deep dark deep dark times when you have to, um, you have to bring, bring them back around. I don't know if it's either therapy or just like Yeah, I guess in a way. Yeah. It's like reverse therapy almost, I guess. That's interesting. That's interesting. It's like forcing you to deal with some shit that you a, a, a thought lot. you dealt with, but maybe it's still there in a way. I don't I don't know. Because a lot of people have have those have the same type of deep darkness in their history in their past, but they have no way to kind of to kind of exercise it, it to exercise it, you know, or like a or be able to channel it to turn it into something else. You yeah. know, like you can't with fighting, you know. So they hold on to yeah, it. Yeah. So I guess I'm fortunate that I'm like good enough to do this sport and have it's like, like an outlet. Like to, the, those dark times seem like it to be a blessing and a curse. Uh, yeah, probably in some weird. Six cents. It's a cur. I mean, it's a, a blessing. blessing. Yeah, dude, of course. But, I think so. Um, I would say so. But I guess because I, I guess it's a blessing because it allows me to do this. But I've definitely without knowing how without knowing how dark and deep those things are. I mean, I would say that they, regardless of what they are, how dark and deep and crazy they are, right now it's a blessing the way you turn them around. And, and yeah, I can turn it. Yeah, because I'd say maybe what I'm 27. I'd say the better part of my life has been pretty fucked. <laughs> yeah. I guess from like the people that know but, me the well, best. That, that, well, that's nothing. Well, then you got nothing but upside, bro. Yeah, right, right. So that that so I can channel it into this, but it's definitely not been a pleasant, enjoyable. Uh, uh, right. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because even when I get ready for fights now, it's like I'll either get very depressed or like very moody, or I just don't want to talk to anybody. Like I'm going back into that place. Yeah. To fight, so that doesn't make me the most pleasant person to be around or want to interact with. Un, so. un, under fucking standably, you know. Wow. Yeah. So it's pretty. It's pretty interesting. Would it be crazy shit, to take another pee break? This is interesting shit. No, Would yeah, go ahead. No, you yeah, can. Yeah, if y'all yeah. like watch the yeah. fight, I'll be back in like thirty <laughs> seconds. Yeah. I'm really no, you're good. <laughs> it's, it's interesting shit, man. It's the vodka seltzer running thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in this fucking car. And so 50, 50 Cent is at the gym hitting pads with one of our boxing coaches. And so he's done. And his security guard, I guess he recognized me from somewhere or something. He's like, yeah. what's your name? I'm like, Malik. Like, like, I feel like I know you from somewhere. Like, I've seen your face somewhere. I'm like, I, I, don't, know. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. So then me and 50 Cent are standing at the door of the gym. And he's looking at the Lamborghini. And he's like, is that yours? I'm like, nigga, no. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, you think... He's like, I'm just... I, I don't know. I'm just yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, nah, I respect it, but n- <laughs> motherfucker, you think that's mine? Yeah, like, like, nah. nah, that's Derek's. Like, he was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, yeah, motherfucker, that makes sense. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 50 Cent's funny. He's a funny fucking dude. That's funny. He's like 5'8", five 5'9". Five nine. 50 Cent? Yeah. Nah, I think he's... Oh, he's, like, he's a big dude. Di- he's not a small person. He's like six feet. Well, I don't know. I mean, he's either like five eleven, right under six feet. I think. Okay. Yeah. Maybe five ten at the least, but he's not a small. You see him in there every now and then. I haven't seen him in there in a while, oh. but that one time that I did see him, and we kind of got to chop it up a little bit and yeah, talk. That's he's, cool. He's a fucking. He's. Just how he is online, fucking with people. That's exactly how he is in person. He's a funny fucking guy. Awesome man. Yeah, he's awesome. a funny fucking guy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we, I, I, I like the fact that the guy moved moved to Houston. Man, it's pretty. I think that's pretty cool. You know. Yeah. You know? I mean, I know it's you know it's an advantage for rich folks you know to come here and get some tax breaks and all that good I stuff. I think he got. I don't know his house. I think come he's on, in River bro. Oaks. I think. Is he in River Oaks? That mean that mean that makes sense. Yeah, I remember, dude, they used to, they used to not let black folks in River Oaks, man. You know, many years ago. <laughs> So, nah, man. If he's in there now, good, good for him. 
Well, no, I mean, I'm guess I, I know he's in some some nice area, definitely close oh, yeah, to downtown. Yeah. yeah, I think he lives close to downtown. But Maybe I know the house is tied into Drake or some shit. Oh, geez, yeah. I don't oh, know. the house that Drake bought? Well, it's knows. not even in Houston. And, and, oh, it's not? No, it's, it's not in it's Houston. In the, uh, he probably, he probably it's like, on the outskirts. He's got, it's like in he's like some like Chapel Hill or like, it's like right, right. something, I forgot what it was called, but it's not like in Houston. Oh, okay. No, it's he, like yeah. 30, 45 minutes away. Like it's not. Yeah, no. I, bet, I bet that man's sitting on, sitting on multiple acres of land. He's not just, you know. Oh, yeah, that fool's chilling, man. Yeah, he's out there doing, he's out, he's out there enjoying his life probably, you know. You know the further, and that's another thing about Texas, man. You you know you, you move here, you move get a place outside the city. You can really do whatever you want on your property. You can really enjoy your life and enjoy yourself. Yeah, like Derek has a huge ass property. Yeah, he like, um, fucking. I don't know. Am I supposed to say this? What? I don't know if I'm supposed to say this. You can, yeah, you can say. Oh, why not? He, what, he has property. a big property. Just just don't say his yeah. address. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah, no. I think Derek has like. 22 acres or something like yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. 20, like, he has a big ass... Yeah, I'm sure yeah. It's like very just, common knowledge. He has, like, a like lake on his fucking thing, like a river. Good for him, Some man. type of, like, body of water. Like See, UFC well, does pay. <laughs> once yeah. you make it there, UFC pays once you make it. What's, you know. what's, what's, what's your plan? Is your plan to get there in this fight thing, man? Is, is this your business, man? Is that, is that what you... Yeah, no, I put all my eggs in his basket, and I'm. Uh, this is what I'm riding on, so... Uh, you, yeah, it's definitely, like, get in... Make as much money as I can, invest it, get the fuck out. Yeah. Well, not get out, because I actually like fighting, so I'll fight till I'm probably close to 40, maybe. And, hang on, and after that, maybe maybe coach? Yeah, coach. Uh, stay in the fight game? Yeah, definitely stay usher, in the fight usher, game. Usher and teach the new duration how to channel that darkness, man. Shit, you know? Nah, not everybody has that. Yeah. Not everybody can channel. Like, I have a particular type of darkness to me that doesn't really come out much unless you really know me and you know when something's off but not everybody has that um that ability to channel into darkness or has right. darkness to channel into right exactly yeah you know so and not everybody fights angry like i don't right. fight angry but the week before i'm angry right like I'll, I'll, I'm a different I'll, person, but when I step in there and I'm starting to fight, I'm very relaxed. It's it's therapeutic. It's peaceful for me. That's cool. Man. So um, that's cool. I would yeah. I would I would I would bet to say that that quite a few gamblers do have, do have some kind of dark place. They can not, or quite, quite a few no. Fighters. All fighters are fucked up in some type of way. Yeah. yeah. There's there's no way you just right wake up that's, and decide you want to get punched for pennies on the dollar. Right. You know? Right. Like no. Like we're all we all have our issues. Whether it's Alcohol, drugs, abusive parents. Whatever the case may be. You know, abandoned as a kid. Whatever the fuck the case may be. It may not be as bad as a next person. But, right, right. Um, no, we're all fucked up in some That's kind of, kind of weird, along the lines where I was going unique, with that. And it's, and it's crazy because some of the nicest people I've ever met yeah. have been fighters. Right. Like, some of my favorite people that I like more than my, some of my family members. <laughs> like, like, I... Are yeah. fucking fighters and they're violent, right? Evil people. When it comes time to that, <laughs> right, but right. outside of that, they'll give you the shirt yeah, off their fucking, fucking back. back. Yeah, yeah you it's know? amazing, man. That's interesting, man. Yeah, like it's it's really that's interesting. We're fucked, but that's we're interesting good dichotomy, people. bro. To be yeah. able to to want to want to be able to, you know, eat somebody's face and then a, and afterwards or a week later or whatever, yeah, give them the shirt off your back and hug them. You know, yeah, because when I them. fight, like I want to really hurt you, right? And I don't I haven't felt that in the last two fights. The first one I felt that I really wanted to hurt that kid. And I did. <laughs> and he hasn't fought since. But Damn. Yeah, that was like three years ago. Damn. Um, yeah, I'm not that happy about it, but fuck it. He signed it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um so I'm look forward to like getting that feeling of like I really, really wanna like hurt you. Like yeah. in front of your family. <laughs> wow. Like in front of your mom, your dad, wow. you're like Wow. I wanted to, like, wow. hurt you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> but I haven't felt that lately, so I guess that's cool, too. Yeah. So. But I think you have to have that, you have to have that edge, though, you know? I mean, it's a, like you said, it's a fighting I game. think all of us want to have it because we don't want to get hurt. Yeah. I don't think everybody has it, but, you know, to, to, have, to have that, it's got to be only be in your it's favor. Defi it's definitely some people have, like, that thing where I just want to win. But then there's guys out there that really want to inflict pain and like see you suffer. 
I click into that every once in a while. Um, it's not often. I don't keep it going because it's a little sick. But right, it's a little sick. I it's like a little that. sick. But <laughs> it's not like that. It's a little sick. But, but no, like, but like we were talking about earlier about the sparring though. But you, you, you can. Oh no! But, there but, was a couple but, weeks ago, I fucked this kid up. <clears throat> but and that's, that's his fault completely, because he's being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You, but you're, you're. I, I feel it's respectful because you can jump in and out like you, you like like yeah, I like guess you're it's saying like a superpower. Yeah, I have a superpower. Well, it's like a, it's like a, like the lesson needs to be learned. You know, it needs to be learned. You know. Yeah, especially with like new people. <laughs> I guess I'll come. I'll tell this story. Fuck it. So we had this kid come into the gym, and. Uh, <laughs> and he asks he asks Bob like when can you find me a fight we've never seen this fucking kid a day in our lives like who the fuck are you wow like our gym is a very a well our gym is a very well respected like one of the best oh, places yeah. you can train in the fucking country so he's Bob's like you're at least a year or two away from fighting and the kid's like oh, I'm thinking like a couple months like, so I happen to be standing by, and Bob knows I'm getting ready to fight. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> food, so food, food from Malik, you know. So, yeah, but so, that's so he 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 calls me over. He's like, Malik, come over. I'm like, what's up? And I'm looking at this kid. He's taller than me. He's a tall, tall like I don't know what he was like, some type of Middle Eastern kid or Somali. I don't know what the fuck he was, but some African descent kid. I guess. Yeah, yeah, and. He's like, you're going to spar him tomorrow. So he tells the kid, bring your headgear and 930. Because 930, we do individual rounds. So there's no space for you to run. Like, it's okay. just me and you on the mat and nice. we're going. Yes. You know? Hey, we're going. Nice. And then he starts like, oh, I can't. I don't think I can make it at, at 930. So he's like, well, be here at 10 o'clock then. And he's like, oh, okay, well, all right, all right. And so... Wednesday comes, our sparring day, and I'm looking at the fucking door because like, <laughs> I'm in, yeah, I'm in sick mode. Like, yeah, I want to hurt somebody. Right. So I'm I'm warming up. I'm looking at the door, and waiting for this motherfucker to walk in, and he just never walks in. And it's fucked up because he's just, he's just a dumb kid. He just doesn't know any better. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. thinks he's ready to fight. He he thinks he knows what it takes to do this type of shit, but. We don't. Right. Yeah. So it comes like ten fifteen, and I'm like, ah, oh, he never came. Yeah, like, my, lunch, my, lunch, my lunch didn't show. Yeah. So he never like, showed up. No, but then he fucking the door swings open. He walks around the corner. Oh, oh. Yes. and lunch then, is here. and Let's immediately eat. me and Bob make eye contact. We both look at each other, <laughs> and then a couple of the other teammates who uh, knew about the situation were like, oh, go time. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I get like I get like one warm up round in, and then Bob comes to find him. Malik, like you know, time to go, time to go, and I'm cool playing to save. He's nervous swinging and shit. Land a couple things. I end up shooting and taking him down. That's not my game at all. And I just start fucking wailing on this fucking kid and fucking him. I'm elbowing him to like the thigh, Ooh. like. And I don't want to elbow him to the face. I don't want to cut him open or nothing. But I'm no, elbowing but him. I'm saying. You, like you, I elbow you him in the, the shoulder. I elbow him in like the the shoulder, like the yeah. Top so you show part. you show sympathy. Yeah, I'm I'm elbow, but I'm elbowing you in parts that are like going to be sore for a while. But that's what I'm saying. You're that you're not that type of fighter that's gonna make a big big. Yeah, and I didn't want yeah. blood all over. You don't want to yeah. yeah. kill the kid. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to kill him. I just want you to know, like, shut the fuck up. Right. You know, and I. uh we end up finishing, no, in between the round, in the middle of the round, he, I get like a super dominant position. It's called neon belly where like basically you're just pinned down and I'm right. just over you at my Neon mercy. belly? Yeah. Literally, it's like my shin, knee, across your stomach. You can't move and all my weight's on you. So he's like, wait, 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 stop, stop, wait. And I'm like, no, well, What round is this? This is, this, is, this is the first round. <laughs> he's like, wait, 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 stop, no, no. And I was like, hold on, hold on. He's like, I'm like, no, motherfucker, you wanted to fight? This is what it is. Yeah. And I just keep dropping fucking shots. Yeah. And yeah, that kid was hurt. I first oh, before I took <laughs> him down, I dropped him in the corner with a with a liver shot. I, I and hit how, him and how, I was and I was ripping him hard. How, when was this? How long ago was this? 
Probably like a month ago. Oh, so yeah, wow. like you said, it was not too far away from your fight. Yeah, so, so I was, was already perfect. like, yeah, it was perfect, ready to, to fuck some shit up. So yeah. I drop him with the body shot. He gets back up. I take him down. And I'm just <laughs> fucking this kid up. And then uh, after the rounds end, I'm kind of tired from like trying to fuck him up. And I'm like, whew, that was like, I'm a little tired. So uh, are they gonna flag this for playing this in the background? Oh, uh, this one? No, like any of the YouTube. Uh, nah, not on YouTube. Oh, okay. Um, so then after that round, he comes. He's, I'm done. No, he's like, I want to get another round with you. Okay. Oh, now I'm like, I'm going to hurt you. Right. Like now, because I feel played with. Like, don't. Yeah, right. Like, I'm a very you, you nice let, person. You, you let him up the first time. Right? I, I'm, a, I'm a nice person, but don't play with me, you know? And so I'm like, okay, bet. So we spar again, same shit, just go and fucking maul this kid. And the same day. Yeah, same round, right round after. Two. Right, right round, after. Round two. And even some of my teammates were like, You're you're being a little nice. Yeah, no, but, no, that's what I'm saying. You I I feel, you know. You, yeah, so for that. Um Yeah, but then after after we were and after that second round, I was fucking tired because I was trying to hurt this kid like for real. Yeah, so so the kid the kid made it through the second round. Yeah, yeah, he made it through the second round, but I was I was tired trying trying to make him respect what we do. Right, 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 right. right, Because this is not no shit. You could essentially teaching this newcomer a lesson. Yeah, because I'm offended that you think you can just come in here and like, oh, I can fight in six months. Like, dude, you're fucking terrible. Yeah, like you're not. No offense. Actually, yes, offense. Right. You're not good. Yeah. You can't just come in here and do what we do. Right. Yeah, you're right. You know, I've put, fuck what, like five, six years into this now. Right. Yeah. And I'm still just scratching the surface of, wow. right. yeah. of like things that I can do and, you know, like wow. levels of competition. Yeah. Don't so, come in here and disrespect all of our hard work like that. So, so, so what, what do you think you are in, in your fight game as far as, as, far as the, the ceiling and... and Oh, I'm not close to the ceiling at all yet. I think uh, for me, it's a little bit more of a mental thing, and uh, is it a commitment thing? You, know, you need. You need no, nah, I'm definitely. I'm at the gym every day. I don't really. Yeah, miss I mean, a lot you do of classes. Days. Yeah, you, I don't yeah. really miss a lot of days. It's maybe working on things that are <clears throat> uncomfortable in, like grappling. I need to grapple more. Okay. Um, I need to do more jujitsu, uh, but no, nah, I'm definitely nowhere near the ceiling of. What I can be, cause, um, cool man. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, That's good. So you got you got there. a way to go. Keep that career going, man. Yeah, I'm trying. It's fucking hard. It sucks. It's a terrible career to choose. When, when, when do you think your next your next fight will be? Uh, they offered potentially to fight in like a couple weeks, but I didn't want to drop to forty five twice in a month. Uh, so. Uh, maybe looking at July, June. What's what's your comfort? What, what weight do you, do you are you happy fighting at? Like, oh, one forty five. Yeah, I'll okay. stay at one forty five. So you are gonna stay at one forty five? Yeah, I'm staying at one forty five. Yeah. Damn. What you walk? What do you walk around at? Oh, one seventy, one seventy five. Okay. So it's a thirty pound, thirty five pound cut every time. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm gonna get it to where I'm like walking around like the high sixties, no more than seventy. So it's just it's not so tough. And I don't have to like freak but out like you about said, it. You like to eat though, huh? I love to eat. <laughs> you just saw I just ate like five pieces of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> no, How many no, was no, in that no. thing? And you ate yeah. like what two? No, yeah, I ate two. That's what, yeah, yeah, you yeah. ate two, and I ate. I'm living yeah. on reserves. I ain't eat shit. So that yeah. shit is fucking ridiculous. And I'm gonna pick up McDonald's on the way home. Yeah, fish, bro. I'm just a. I'm fucked. I'm so, such a fat fuck. It's ridiculous. I eat <laughs> so much. No, but like you I said, man, when, I first, that, man. when I first, when I first, when I first, every day, you know. When I first met you, you were like 180, 190, man. You were a big dude. And yeah, I was, like, I was oh, a shit. thick. You know, I was like, I was small. I was a thick guy. Still small. It wasn't, uh, I couldn't train it that weight, though. It was, I was tired every time. I was tired every fucking time. So you like to, you like to train at 145? No, no, I'll fight there, but I like to keep my training weight around 60, 60 65. No yeah. more than 70. Yeah. I gotta keep my weight under seventy. Any um, strength and conditioning, like you? Uh, I do zero weight? strength and conditioning. You're I don't lift weight? weights for shit. Really? I hate. It's so boring to me. Really? I, yeah, I just it's just boring. I like I have to have like <laughs> I have to have like teammates with me or some shit yeah, to like yeah. do it. But like 
I like this whole camp. I didn't do any. Well, I did like a couple of strength and condition things because I had a couple teammates. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Mana, Cody, and Max. Uh, we got a little crew together and we were doing like weights, weight training and stuff. Right, right. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't fucking mention. I don't know if I mentioned Mana or Max in my shout outs earlier, but Maybe Paul, so. yeah, Paul, Paul, Jacob, Jacob. Mana, Max. Mono's one of my favorite people. He's fucking hilarious. Another uh, spar, spar. Uh, no, he's a UFC guy. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get back there and you know, continue to ride. But um, sounds like you're at the right place to, with, with, with the with the yeah, UFC like ties. we have. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely there's always Main Street. there's always UFC level fucking. We have at least three, four, maybe five UFC level cool talents in the gym that were in my weight class that I can like move with and like. Are those guys accessible? Do you, you get it, get it with them and learn from them? Oh, yeah. Like, they're bit. some of my oh, best fucking, buddies. Yeah, they're some of my cool. best buddies. Like That's fucking yeah. cool. I have access to any one of these guys at any point in time. Like, tomorrow's Monday. I'm going to... That's got to be a value. Monday uh, will be the first resource. day that I'm, like, back training and, Pretty you know, cool getting, getting back into it again. Because I took this whole week off because Coach was like, you know, take the week off. Because I wanted to come back, like, this week because I've been bored as fuck. Yeah. But... Take uh, some time after the fight. Yeah, I've been so bored since the fight. Like, yeah, I've been sore and hurt, but I'm used to just being sore and hurt, so it doesn't really bother me that much. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, I was like, yeah, I told the coach, I was like, yeah, I'm going to come back uh, Thursday, Friday. He was like, just come back on Monday. Just, yeah. Just take the rest of the week off. Just you, you, come back you, on Monday. You won, know? man. Enjoy it and take some time and take some, get some downtime. Enjoy your win. Let rest your body, you know? Yeah, that's another thing. I don't enjoy my... You know, enjoy, like, yeah, dude, you gotta enjoy, yeah, dude, no, you gotta enjoy the a, fruits of your labor. The older you get, the more you learn to enjoy the fruits of your labor, man. <laughs> yeah, and, I've, and then and with this win, I've, I've, I've taken, um, <laughs> I've taken a little bit more appreciation for like the process. Good. Like the ups, the downs. And Trying the, not to rush it. The fake love, the fake fans, and then the like the real people who support you. And, yeah, you know, yeah. Fuck all the fake love. Right. <laughs> right. Can, 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 you, can you identify and see that fake love through the? Through, oh yeah, hundred percent. Y'all are so fucking see right through you, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah good. I fucking hate y'all. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like people like I haven't talked to in years, or like people who are. But, you, man, but, but that's a part you gotta you gotta learn you gotta manage you gotta learn how to manage that shit, man, because it's gonna that's never going away that fake love and that you know. Yeah, it's it, and that's one thing this fight game will really teach you is like. <laughs> Oh, the bandwagoners. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even people who are like right there next to you who are like, oh, I'm here for you and support you. And then like, you know, they just kind of, you know, yeah. like fuck them, you know, yeah, yeah, fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They say, yeah they say. So I don't, I don't, and I'm not one to like hold my tongue very well. I, I, I He would know from like paradigm, like I'm oh, very yeah. quick to <laughs> speak like if somebody's trash or like doesn't deserve like, I'm not one to hold my tongue about anything, so. Right on. Uh, I had a couple. I had. A, I told a couple of friends I was coming on the podcast, and they were like, uh, "Are you sure that's a good idea for you?" Because I'm such a just loose, loose. Blah. Yeah, like right. no, no filter. It might, it might offend some, some people, some groups of people. Like it, right. you never, you know, it's never like offensive. Like, I don't mean it, but it's just. Right. It's funny to me. Well, so, if, you yeah. if you don't, if you don't mean it, man, then it doesn't count. You know, then, uh, you know but everybody's count. sensitive now. So yeah, fuck them, dude. Fuck sensitive people, man. You know. Yeah. yeah so. It, it, yeah, yeah, but I, I don't. I don't think. I don't mean. I think this platform has never been like the uh, like to instigate and say. It's just yeah, like you're saying, just speak what you're saying and yeah, you know, kind of yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Speak your mind, man. That's what I don't know. Yeah, it gets me in trouble sometimes. So, so. But it, but you know it would be totally different if you weren't able to back it up, but you, you back it up. Yeah, I was like, what are you going to do, fight me? <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. like, I'll right. fight you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So like, that's what I'm saying. Fight me. Yeah, so I mean, you're, you're yeah, back so it up. Yeah, I guess I can't say whatever I want. Yeah. No, no, exactly. nah, I can't because I'm going to get in trouble. But I can. But, <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean? You know, there, within also, reason. Within there's reason. also, I mean, career wise, there's got to be certain politics and things. You, you know. Yeah, like, see, that's the thing. Like, if I want to like build my name up and like get sponsors and, you have and to be get companies, you have to be strategic. Yeah, see, I can't say everything I really want to say. Not, not yet. There's a not lot yet. of shit I really want to say not that yet. I just can't. Not yet. When, when you, yeah. get to, you, you get to a place yeah. of success where you can say whatever you want to say to an extent, well, right? Well, you. 
Well, you can't go Sean Strickland just yet. You're not, you're not there yet. Yeah, see, I want to <laughs> go saying, Sean not Strickland. They're not the same views and not the same like <laughs> tactics. But yeah, man, yeah. Like, like my friends in the gym will tell you, like Jacob, Mana, Paul, yo, Malik is an interesting fucking. <laughs> yeah. If you sit there and pick his brain, it's it's dark in there. There's some right shit on. in there. Right on. And I make, I make everybody laugh at the gym. Like I'm the fun guy, cracking jokes, just just saying outlandish shit. And I can't really say those things outside of that setting because I would get into a lot of fucking trouble right, 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 if I right. did. Career-wise, but I don't mean any of it. It's just, it's just funny. Yeah, it's just yeah. funny to me, you know. Yeah, but, so. yeah, but yeah, but like you said, man, the, the sensitive folks, man, and for for your career's sake, you have to be strategic in what you say. Yeah, like you know, on on, on, like on, on I, public platform. What if like I this. offend like the the fur people, like the. What's the animal Who? group? Who? Fur? Is... Oh, the PETA? No, not furries. PETA? Oh, I did offend Peter. a furry one time. Furry? I, I offended a furry one time. What's yeah. a furry, bro? You don't know what a furry is? No. Oh, we're about to get canceled. <laughs> what's a furry? Yeah, what's a furry? Yeah, neither one of you know what a furry is? I'm 42, man. No, I, I just, Holy I was, fuck. I was just make sure, Make sure you fucking clip this part and send it to because this is hilarious. All right. So furries. Uh-huh. So you know how the anime community is uh-huh. yeah. to where like it gets really deep and they start dressing up and yeah. they go to conventions and yeah. they have like anime parties and they're just in full character yeah. yeah so furries is this community of humans who dress up in these animal costumes whoa. and i might be wrong whoa but from what i've gathered they dress up in these yeah, like elaborate costumes, big furry animal costumes, uh-huh. and they go to these conventions, and they like to fuck each other in the costume though. Oh, so it's some so there's stuff. like a it's like a flap and it's I, some I, sex I, fetish I, shit. Okay, I think it's some sex fetish shit. I gotta okay. really look into it real Dude, quick because I might me. be getting us. In furries, trouble. Man. Well, I this wonder. girl I used to mess with, furries, she like she she was like into no, but it was it was the comic con shit though. Oh, see, so yeah, I can't. It was that. it was kind of like comic, and they would dress up. Okay, see, comics, okay, and they see, would I'm have wrong. like things after. Like, oh, I'm fucking they would wrong. get real drunk. It's not, a, all, it's not a. It's not a. I'm gonna get us in trouble. Thing. Okay, the furry fandom is a subculture interested in anthropomorphic. <laughs> animal characters dude you lost me there yeah ex- <laughs> include exhibiting human intelligence and facial expressions speaking walking and on two legs and wearing clothes wow yeah no like wow. the wait hold on yeah so no me. that's that's kind of how you described it without you didn't you they didn't mention anything about the. Uh, i've always heard about them having these big orgy right yeah that's right. Right. Probably like, is, I get it to you I, so I don't know if that's like I guarantee you they left, they left that part out on the, on the Wikipedia site, you know. But <laughs> oh no, I think it's, sure. I think Google. it's just people that used to that like to dress up as oh furry sex. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. So that's some that. real. That's some real shit. No, no, man. look, is that, is that that's that's real? I do. That's what a world we live in today, man. Yeah. So these are furry conventions. Yeah. Oh. Nice nice. They just dress up in these fucking costumes and hang out with well, each it's other. Looks like <laughs> Disneyland, man. You know, they just and, they you, just, and you and you got in got into it with one of these girls. No. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. She would. She, that would never happen. Okay. I was like, wait yeah, a minute, man. No. What happened here? I don't. I don't know if uh, maybe the sex thing, orgy thing, is not. Uh, are you about to pull up your even, even, the, even the co- I mean, the costume thing alone. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe the sex thing is not in. Uh, what furry. Furries. Oh furries, shit! Man. We're about to get in trouble. This is new to me, man. <laughs> No, that's it. But yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised, man. I'm honestly not surprised. You know, unfortunately, I'm not surprised. Dude. That surprised me. People do kind yeah, of. Yeah, look, there's all humans. Okay, that's all. Yeah, I say okay. So they're just it's like it's like Hall- these are Halloween enthusiasts, man. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the the sex thing is made up, and I that's not. No, real. I believe that shit. Like I said, no. like it's almost relative no, it's a part to part of the, it. 
I guarantee to the, it's a part yeah, of it. has got to be. If I'm going to dress up and be in this hot ass suit for hours, we're yeah, fucking. No, some, dude, yeah. they probably yeah, do yeah, like. There, there, there's, yeah, there's, some, there's another reason and motivation behind They're it. They're probably doing yeah. like coke, shrooms, all types of drugs, Jeez, and then getting all like geez. just loaded. Extra sweaty in the suit. Jeez, and then after that, I'm serious. Probably. Yeah. Maybe. I don't yeah, know. I mean, hey, they they don't, make it fun. I, mean, I should infiltrate one of the fucking conventions. Out of all them. I should. You know what? Damn, I wish I could find a friend that would that would be down to. I would. Get the ends on what on what exactly the furs are. You don't know it's me. You know what? This right? is not a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, there is there. That's a lot of fucking furries. That's a lot of furries. That's, a, that's, that's actually kind of scary. And yeah, dude, those costumes ain't cheap, man. Those people are. I'm real pretty cool. sure they're not fucking cheap. Yeah, that's and a little they, scary. I, they look all custom, man. They're not. Those people aren't aren't, aren't fucking. That's around, what I said, dude. I swear, like you know, there's a group here that's the druggy group and then the sex group. The oh, they're all in the group. same group, brother. They're, they're all the oh, same. Oh yeah, group, they're probably switching like. They're all they the go same and stay group. in hotels. Look at them, brother. And and you know what? Group. I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna see if I can infiltrate <laughs> the infiltrate fucking the furry. <laughs> yeah, Dude, they're, yeah they're, we gotta. are gonna be on the watch out for their ass now, man. Yeah, we gotta clip out this part too. So, or I'll just like <laughs> screen record and clip. Yeah. The no, fucking well, interview. well, no. Now when I edit, stuff, I, I can actually show these pictures while we're actually talking about it. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah I'll, I'll fucking probably, whenever you post it, I'll learn some little clips. I'm gonna find somebody to infiltrate. About that. Infiltrate a fucking furry convention. We're gonna go see what the fuck these weird. I mean, not weirdos, but what's going on in these hey, they're, uh, they're, parties. They're, 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 you know, they're, they've got their deal. Y'all are not weirdos. I promise. It's just, it's just very interesting. Because <laughs> I probably into some weird shit too. So right, right. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think. I mean, not really. A, yeah, you know, some weird not. shit like that. Yeah, that's extreme, man. Shout out to the furries. Shout out to the furries, man. <laughs> You wild guys. Shut up, you wild guys. But it's like it's crazy because y'all are comfortable enough in yourselves to like live this life. But they're not really because nobody sees your face and nobody who knows who the fuck you are. Yeah, that's so the thing about it. Is you they're, they're actually masks. really hiding about the furry. Right, right. Until, until the furry time. obsession. Until it's time to. Until so really, you have to, to show your off. face. That's some we weird. want we want you to show your faces. It's kind of weird. It's yeah. Like, yeah. This is how I feel about the anime community. I don't <laughs> fuck. I don't fuck with the anime community that much. Because it yeah, gets it gets a little weird. There's all kinds of subcultures out there, man. The people who people who play the wizard games in the parks. Oh, like Dungeons them. and Dragons. Yeah, they, you know, yeah, you know, and they're out there like really battling out in costumes and wood, wood, wood swords, it's like you know. Yeah, see, I just people people. But is this part of why? Just shut the fuck up. Is this up. part of why you couldn't? Uh, you didn't want to be in school too, though. Nah, college was just stupid. Well, no, because I, I'm in school now, and I can see why a lot of people get out, you know, because they're forced to learn a lot of different things. No, nah, it's like nothing, wanna... not even anything from high school that I learned, I use today ever. Yeah. Like, I don't use algebra today. Right. I mean, I guess I do when I'm, like, calculating bills or... I, that's I basic know, math, yeah, I mean, you know. But that's basic, like, I don't, I don't use... Fucking science equations and yeah, I mean and, and we're not, but I'm related to almost like being too sensitive to be in school because you know nowadays you can't be too sensitive and be in school. Like kind of what you were saying earlier, like you're uh, very outspoken on a lot of stuff. You know, I don't even think it's outspoken. I just don't care. So, <laughs> so, so I just kind of say things and be like, oh shit, probably shouldn't have said that. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> but it's never from like a harmful way. If it is, you'll know it, but. Typically, it's not. It's not from a. Um, it's not from a bad place. Right. Not just, some, you're not being malicious. Or anything, oh yeah, it's yeah. not from malicious. I'm just talking shit. Yeah. I mean, do I believe, you mean, mean in general, you, see, you mean you seem like a good dude, man. You know, in, yeah. in general. Yeah, I don't really mean it. Sometimes I do. Yeah. But yeah. Not really. Yeah. Typically, I don't. Right. Eh. Fuck them. Fuck them, dude. And the furries, fuck them too. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Not the furries. We like y'all because y'all seem like I have a lot of people that could come and just take some shit over. So. I bet they have a lot of sweaty fun, I'll tell you that. It's a subculture, though. You never know who's a furry. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. so weird. I could be training partners. So, with how, did, how did you right. hear about it, you said? Oh, I offended this lady at a. Well, I've always kind of like okay. heard about it. Like, oh, that's weird, but I never really knew much about it. And I was at a sex store one day with some friends, and uh, I just started, because I, I think I saw like a, 
I think it was like an anal plug or something, but it had like a tail to it. And it was like furry. Uh, and I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah. seems like yeah. some weirdo furry shit. <laughs> right. And right. then the cashier She's like, ended up being a fucking furry. She's like, what do you She's mean? She's like, don't you fucking talk about us like that. And I was like, oh, they caught me. Like, fuck. <laughs> they're going to start like coming out of like the ceiling and like they're going to start <laughs> infiltrating the fucking area. And I'm going to get like fucking murdered. And That's funny. Converted to furryism or whatever the fuck. <laughs> like, and she gave me like this 10 minute. Fucking really? Are you really? Are you yeah, serious? no, she because they she, take this shit very serious. Wow, it's not a fucking joke. Wow, this is a way of life. Wow, <laughs> like this she gave me like life. a five to ten minute speech on like furries and on, I was on, on how this and how and why this is real. Yeah, and, and I was it, like, fuck, have- please cash check out already so they can leave because <laughs> I feel like I was trying to get like converted to like a different religion or something because yeah. it started as like a. Hey, don't talk about us. It's like, you should try it out. She's trying to like, recruit you. Yeah, she's trying yeah, to recruit she tried you. Yeah, to recruit me to be a furry. And I was like, so you like that tail over there? I like my skin. It's cool. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah. Interesting, man. Interesting, yeah, man. It's, I, it's, know, uh, the type of shit you run across in, 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 you know, in those type of shops in the city. Yeah, she was just a short little white lady. And I was like, damn. You you almost got converted to furryism, bro. You you lucky you got out of there. They let it cash out. You got got up out of there. Yeah, was like, she might have had me. I don't fucking know. I didn't stay around long enough for the for the conversation. I doubt it. Yeah. But she tried for sure. Well, they, they say don't knock it till you try it. You know. Nah, I'm <laughs> knocking it to the death. I'm knocking it the fuck out the park. Hell yeah. yeah, I'm Hell cool. yeah I'm not, I'm I don't want to spend that much money on right a costume and be sweating for it's just right. a lot. Right. You can get down to business without like without sex all is that. already hot enough. Like exactly. I don't need to wear anything on. Like yeah, <laughs> you can get down good, to business bro. without all the accessories, right? Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep fan, you, fan won't help. Exactly. Like it's, you're, you're fucked. You got to yeah. take a shower afterwards. I'm a simple you fucking man. Keep shit simple too, man. So I'm with you. Yeah, kind of musty. Like I'm cool. So I guess, like you said, well, that would be what Fury '88 or Fury '89. I have no fucking idea. Well, anyways, know. but the next Fury is five weeks, four weeks, three weeks. Oh, three yeah, yeah, yeah. You find the next Fury? No. Fury. No, 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 that no, one's in a couple weeks. Yeah, you said uh, you're not doing that one. I'm going to give my body a little bit of rest. Yeah. So now are, are, are you going to keep it consistent with this promotion? Yeah, yeah. I'll try to. Staying for uh, Fury. Um, Definitely going to keep fighting for them. Maybe I'll go back out to Louisiana. No, that's what I was going to ask, too. I really like their thing. promotion, DFC. Yeah. Does Fury, um, does Fury, does Fury do, do all the promoting? Yeah, Here Fury's like a feeder for the UFC. So, like, yeah. you build up through there. You kind of, you don't have a guaranteed direct shot into the UFC, but it's a, uh, it's, it's, nice it's a, it's HOV lane. It's a, gotcha. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool, so, man. um, maybe I'll go back out and do one for, uh, Kylie and DFC because they've always treated me and my family like really well. And they're on Louisiana? Yeah, Monroe, Louisiana. Cool, man. Um, I would like to go out and do another fight for her because she's always uh, treated me and my family and my mom like very well, always taking care of us. That counts, man. Um, so I would definitely like to repay her and give her another good... Uh, give her a good show, right? Ne- yeah, because all the fights I've had for her have been probably the best fights of the night. So. And of course, that goes on your same card, obviously, right? I mean, on your record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it goes on my record. So, so that uh, doesn't go by state or anything like that, right? It goes yeah, no, record is... Record's record. Yeah, you could fight in Russia and... So now, you know, so what's your record right now, then? Uh, two and one. Two and one. Two and one. Yeah. Cool, man. Two and one. Cool, man. Um, it's it's awesome. It's awesome, you know, talking to you in the genesis of this, of, you know, of this, of this journey, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's you, a it's an interesting career. Yeah, man. Makes yeah. you like think about a lot of things that you don't want to think about. Yeah. But you know, kind of have to. Yeah. So, are you teaching any class at Main Street? Yeah, or sometimes here? I'll teach a class. But not lately. But well, because when I was, I don't know, the brief time I was there. I mean, but uh, I think I had I caught Jacob a lot, and then. Uh, yeah, I'm mostly just helping out the classes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm mostly helping out the classes. Uh, sometimes if they can't make it, I'll cover the whole class. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm uh, I'm just getting more comfortable with teaching because I know the shit. I know 
what's right and wrong, the technical way to do it, the right way to do it. Right. But my dumbass, stupid mind can't take my knowledge and transfer it to a regular person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know? man. Same, same. Michael, Michael Jordan has the same problem, right? Like, he's, yeah, he's, like, like he's one can't... of the best, best basketball player. I mean, he's, you know, the best basketball player of all time, right? But I, I, I guarantee you, I don't, I don't think he's a coach at all. You know? Like, you just, I'm just not a great teacher. Yeah. And I, yeah. I understand things in stupid ass ways. So, me trying to explain that to a regular minded person is not. Yeah. But I mean, I'm I'm not that bad at it. I'm probably just talking <laughs> too much shit. I don't do that. I don't do that bad at it. But yeah, yeah, and, that's what and, I'm working. And like, on. like, and like everything else, man. Practice makes perfect. The more you do it, you know, the more you do it, the better you get at it. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been, uh, I'll be back at the gym teaching classes uh, tomorrow. Um, like, I'm going to wake up at nine, probably. Get to the gym by 10 and, you know, get the ball rolling again. Yeah, cool, man. Cool. Yeah. And then your knee, like you said, your knee's doing better. Yeah, it bends. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a knee. Yeah. yeah, take care of it, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go actually go get it looked at because it's still actually pretty swollen. It's been like pretty swollen for like a month. Do they provide health insurance for you guys? Or? Yeah, yeah, I just got to go through the process and cool. do all that shit, which is annoying. That's fucking good, man. Oh, really? They do? Uh, yeah, if you get injured through the fight. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's good shit, man. Yeah, it's pretty... So that's not a bad deal. That's a, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good benefit, man. That's a good yeah, benefit. yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, good. I was thinking like you, if you get hurt, you get hurt. You know, and you're no, on no, own. no. They have to provide insurance for in the fight. If you come into the fight with something hurt, then they kind of yeah, it's a right. you know, it's kind of like waived. But if you break your ankle in the fight, then they kind of have to yeah, 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 take care of that. About how many more fights do you think it'll take until you start seeing until you start maybe. Seeing some reward paycheck wise, like okay, this is this um, one. maybe three, four, three, four more fights, and you'll start seeing some little scratch come in. Yeah, I think, cool, and not even so much Shit, that ain't, that ain't too far physical away. money, maybe just uh, I don't want to sound like well, a yeah, dick and exposure. Saying, yeah, like I guess like my name being bigger, right? Quote unquote fame, right? Whatever the fuck that means, right? Um, support people. And, Knowing me and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 definitely. Like I went out with one of my friends at the rodeo <laughs> the other day, and he's a uh, he's in the UFC, and uh, he's like, I was like, you've been there before, like how how is it like being like recognizable, like how like when people like you're in fucking Walmart, but like oh you're fucking right. you know like what is that like? Because it's happened to me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Bob puts me on his uh, on his Instagram. Yeah, and he has a lot of followers on his Instagram, and there's been times where like I'll be in the mall and like, oh, you're a fighter, like you're I I follow this guy and I saw you on his page, like yeah, and I like ask for a picture and I take a picture with them or something. It's like that was fucking weird, <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. It's happened like a good handful of times, like maybe Fame, less than bro. like six, seven times I've gotten recognized just through Bob's Instagram. Wow. Um, but he was like, dude, it happens to me at least a couple times a week. To where like people are just like, oh you're, you fought and like ah oh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So at the rodeo, I was trying to be an asshole, so I was just walking around, yeah, holding my phone up, <laughs> fucking following him, following him, trying to be an asshole because yeah. he had like a hat on. He didn't want to get recognized. Right. He was like, no, bro, like you don't understand, like it happens enough yeah. to where like it's annoying. Most really? times he's cool with the fans, but like it's like I mean, that, isn't, that, isn't that what it's yeah. all about though, man? You know. Yeah, but you might you you probably lose yours. I would I know I would lose myself in it. Like it would it would drive me like yeah. oh for real like all these people love me I'll do what the fuck I want you know right. yeah. like I would definitely go off the Dang left side bro. yeah like I know if like like if I hit the lottery right now like six hundred million dollar lottery I would lose my fucking mind yeah I give myself I'd do a lot of fishing and golfing and hunting I yeah, I'd give myself my about 
a year to live, baby. Damn. Yeah, for sure. I would Damn. lose my fucking mind. I, I, I think but it's good really, because I know this about myself. That, like that I know will, that will only be the case for another for another few years, man. Yeah, like I would lose my fucking mind. Yeah, but that, so, that's what I'm saying. I think that's just your age right now. Yeah, yeah. You think so? That, that, yeah, I don't know. I, I know so. I know so. You, I, you, I, you, yeah. five, if you're our age, five and, years from now, you won't you won't be in that same. You won't be. You won't, you'll uh, make yeah, if you're our age, you'd be like, yo, man, I'm just gonna chill and relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, trust me. Just keep living, brother. Just keep living. Nah, I think I'm a pretty. Because I used to think like that. No, no. Because I used to think like that too. You think you're wild, Malik? Man, I, you know, I'm, I've, I've been known. I've been known, man. I respect that. I know what that I've means. Known, I respect man. that. I respect so, that. Because uh, I've had that same thing. Like, like I've been known. I, I, I yeah, respect that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just All right. Keep, maybe it's just the brother. age thing. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Your Hopefully, youth. I don't hit the lottery. Enjoy that. Two, enjoy that years. feeling. Enjoy. Enjoy that feeling. <laughs> enjoy that. You know. That that uh that perspective you have, man, that youthful perspective, man, because it it doesn't it doesn't it feels good, but it doesn't it's, it ain't there forever. So enjoy it while you got it, brother. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fucking. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. That you realize that, yeah, you give you give you a little bit too much freedom. You might yeah, he knows take advantage that. of it. Okay, yeah. maybe I wouldn't Especially die like in a right year. Yeah. Maybe I wouldn't die in a year, but I would definitely go fucking off the rail. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you yeah. might not. You might hear, die in a year. You, uh, dude, you dude, might you, not hear from me for like two, three months. Right. <laughs> like I just yeah. be. Gone Dude, that's, somewhere. That's, that's a very, that's a very real, I think, like, transparent statement, man. Fucking hurting sheep in f- fucking Germany or something. I don't fucking yeah. know. Like yeah. just doing some weird shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, I probably wouldn't. Die. What, what? What? Besides, besides fighting, what do you like to do? Besides, what are your hobbies besides fighting? Is that that it? That's about it. Yeah, that's your fucking that's life, huh? That. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty bro. Much it. Yeah, respect. I love music, but uh, respect. Um, damn, what do I like to do outside of fighting? Coach G had said one time you had like started a podcast, but then I guess you didn't. Oh yeah, I did, but that was just, that was yeah. that wasn't gonna last yeah. long. Yeah, that was. But well, obviously, my... you like you like talking. So yeah, yeah, no, keep, I would, keep, I would yeah. definitely like do this. Yeah. A lot. Getting, on it's getting, cool. on, getting, getting on this one, being a part of this one, man. You know? Yeah, I would definitely like do this. Is pretty cool. Nah, but man, the podcast but I, mean, I had was like four years ago with uh, me and my homeboy. His name is C and. Uh, the boy C, and uh, <laughs> it was just it was we were gonna get canceled at some. It was gonna be bad. <laughs> we all wild and really, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, were really we were really flagrant and out of line, <laughs> <laughs> and it, it wouldn't have lasted long. There's actually, I think there's still a fucking episode on Spotify. That's funny. Actually. I need to look at that because that's been a long time. He's like, we were really flagrant. We wouldn't have lasted. It was. It would not. It didn't. It wouldn't. Yeah, I think cool, it was man. called the podcast about nothing. <clears throat> yeah, so fighting, fighting is about it. I'm like, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Oh no, it's not alone here anymore. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. It won't. It won't be. Um, hey, it's not on YouTube. You said it's on Spotify. Yeah, I thought I uploaded it to Spotify like years ago, but I guess it's not. Oh, conversations about nothing. <laughs> is that what it was called? Yeah, that's what con. That's what con. About nothing. Oh yeah. Let me see if it's still on here, con. Well, nah, man. I mean, shit. Glad we got you here. Catch up. Yeah, Malik, man. Again, man. Congratulations uh, on, the, yeah, on that on that win, man. It's <laughs> fucked. It's not there. Appreciate it, man. It's yeah, been man. um. It's cool. Interesting. Uh, interesting camp. Interesting process. Getting back into the. Nitty gritty of things, you know. It's pretty cool. Take take a few weeks off and be yeah, back in what, June, win. July. No, I'm I'm gonna get back training hard. Maybe not hard, but get back into motion mon tomorrow. Yeah. For sure I'm getting back in the gym tomorrow. Um probably start ramping it back up in about a couple of weeks. Uh Nobody's called you out or anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope not. That suck for them. I don't yeah. know. I don't think so. And there's nobody. And I'm uh, not that type of per- like fighter. And it's like, why are you mad at me? What did I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh man. Well, no, but I mean, I feel some of those guys do it just to get something going for themselves to get a fight going or whatever. Yeah, but that's kind of lame. Yeah, like, I know. it's on false or I guess. Stupid yeah, just give me reasons. whoever, bro. I don't really. Just get yeah. a contract going, right? Yeah, like don't call me out. I'm not gonna call anybody out. Unless I actually have an issue with you, yeah. Right, like right. if I have a real issue with you, then I'm a totally different person. Oh. Yeah, like yeah. just illogical, just on ten at all times. But 
I don't have any issues with any fighters right now. Yeah. Actually, I do, but not, not really. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, from not other like, gyms or. Um. Yeah, for sure, not in my gym, but oh, they're okay. not in my weight class, so it'd be kind of weird picking on like twenty fivers okay. or just <laughs> other people. But there's yeah. definitely some fighters. I'm like, yeah, fuck that guy. Is it? Is there a gym that kind of like that y'all like? Uh, you know, there's, there's like a you know a rivalry y'all have against. Nah, man. This is like, <laughs> nah. Or is I mean, free, um. Like free versus. Yeah, level? for sure, but. But I, not uh, immediate. Right? I w- would you say like an immediate like beef? I wouldn't say nah, that. we. Yeah, we yeah. I I I have inherited a beef from one of my teammates that I have gladly inherited, but it's. I don't. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, we just, all we all know. Fuck them, but right. You know, I'm just not gonna come on and yeah, some rivals, yeah. but there's some there's yeah, some yeah, 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 okay, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm not gonna come on and uh, start and, and air it all out. Yeah, yeah. But they That's don't like they don't like us. We don't like them. Okay. Fuck them. Interesting. Okay. Eat interesting. dick. Die. Whatever. Right. I don't know. Like I said, Main Street to me is it's it's yeah it's a it's a very serious gym. From yeah. what I've, the only little short time I was there, but yeah, <laughs> it is definitely a serious gym to be at. Um, but I feel like, yeah, if you're very serious about it, like that's definitely the place to be at. Yeah, and like our gyms are kind of like our little like gangs. So like, right, like I'm repping like fucking Main Street, Main bitch. Street. <laughs> you know, exactly. It's like I have, a, I have a fucking Main Street tattoo on my leg. Oh no shit! Yeah, 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 I was gonna say, is yeah. something not finished on the other end? Main oh yeah, this is a snake that I haven't finished, but like okay. I definitely have Main Street tatted Main all Street, the way down dude. my leg. Yeah, dude. So like, yeah, that's 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 real. That's real. Yeah, yeah. I'm really a gang member. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're legit, right? <laughs> legit right. a gang member. <laughs> right, pretty much. Um, man. Yeah, and I was the first one with a Main Street tattoo. So if anybody, no shit. if anybody follows other copiers, yeah. Yeah, so it's documented, man. Yeah, it's documented. That is, yeah, hell yeah. Um, no shit. That's so yeah, like the right, gym, man. the the gym, the gym beef is. It's definitely real, but it's more of like a. But when I see you, you see me. I know I hate you. You know I hate you. Know right. it's not it's like like a, like a gang, man. Yeah, it's yeah. like nobody else knows, <clears throat> but it's like yo, fuck that dude in aisle three. You know, right. It's gang yeah. too. That's awesome, man. I love to hear yeah, that. Yeah, no, I kind of like it. It's kind of fun. No, that's, that's, yeah. that's what brings it up. Because when like, you go to fights and stuff, you got to like, oh, that's that motherfucker from that gym. Like, yeah. what's up, nigga? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you want to get down real quick? Like, yeah, exactly. you know? It's, 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 it builds camaraderie inside. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and, and I like that. It builds tighter camaraderie with, with y'all. And I'm such a down, uh, I'm such a ride or die type of dude. You're like, a down motherfucker, huh? I, I'm a, I, I'm. Like, I don't know any of these people from this gym, which right. is the crazy part. Right. But if my teammate don't fuck with you and that's my dog, fuck you. You yeah. know? Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I've yeah. never had a conversation with any of you dudes. You know, the, I, I would imagine but that gym you. loyalty runs that deep. You know, especially oh, 100%. Like, y'all yeah. fucking fighters, man. Like, it's got to be like, yeah. Yeah. You know? I'm quick to inherit a, jer- a gym beef. I'll yeah, fuck. exactly. Yeah. It's like, on site, man. Where are you yeah. from? Where, know, where, from? where Jimmy from? On site, buddy. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> we, could, we could do that if you want to. I don't that's mind. Cool. I, I think, would rather not right now because I'm probably wearing flip flops and shorts and yeah. in the fruit section at H E B. But we can, <laughs> <laughs> but we, but we, but we can definitely get down. And I would not regret it one bit. You know, that's awesome, man. So I, 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 I like I like your stance, man. I like your stance. <laughs> it's not. I don't take it that serious, but it can be that serious. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, I can imagine. Now y'all, some, y'all, everyone's. You know, you are loyal. You are serious about what you do. So. Yeah, especially yeah. to like my coach and like anybody talks about my coach, like we can meet up right now and go right. fight. Like, don't talk about right. my gym. Don't Bob. talk about my coach. Yeah, don't talk about Bob. Bob is totally off limits. You say one thing about Bob, we're a hundred percent fighting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's one of those and you, things. you, you, and probably a thousand others. You know, a hundred percent. Anybody? Yeah. Like, don't talk about my teammates. Don't talk about my gym. Don't talk about Bob. Respect. Just leave us alone because we're respect. all yeah, respect, man. a little off in the head. Just yeah. leave us alone. Right. Yeah. You know? yeah. Respect, man. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, no, nah, man. I guess the hate, I, I guess to end it off on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Don't, don't end talk it off about on, anybody in my on family. Mafia beef. Yeah. Gym mafia beef. Yeah. Re- respect, respect the gyms, man. Yeah. Well, no, nah, I mean, definitely have you back again. Yeah, I'd be down to come I guess back the again. whole cool. the whole ep- this whole episode was just to recap on your win, man. So yeah, like yeah. I said congratulations on your win. Yeah, it's only gonna go farther from here, you know. 
Yeah, should be back by summertime. We said we Maybe said early, man. in two or three more by the end of the year. Hopefully yeah. three. Three more fights by the end of the year. Hopefully. Good, cool. You know, and uh, just keep the ball rolling. Yeah, man. Nah, man. Uh, I would like to have you on again. Hopefully, catch you before your next fight. Yeah. And then have it, you know, because. Cause I know, like you said, I know you were busy, and then you like got, you, lately I've been busy, and then yeah, uh, the other <laughs> other co-host was supposed to be here, didn't show shout, up. Shout out to Alkmezi, <laughs> man. Shout out to and, uh, We had Bear fill in. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bear don't care. Uh, so that's cool, man. Like I said, I I, I just want to keep this going on the podcast. Um, definitely, no, my angle is the fighting now. I mean, I, I'm I'm in the mix on the fighting thing, you know. Yeah, Keep an eye I'm, on all y'all now I'm fighters. I'm uh, sitting here contemplating if I said anything that I shouldn't have said, but I don't think I did, so fuck it. Nah, nah man. I definitely didn't. I didn't nah, say anything. Nah. nah, man. Nah. Besides the furry thing, it might have got a little touchy, but <coughs> that, that can be edited, man. Nah, nah no, 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 but, 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 that, that, but nah, there was but there was nothing Let you said. Cause that, I feel that's where my 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 um, job is to deter the conversation. Oh, deter it. Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. And all, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, part of your job for the politics of this man's career is kind of keep him in line. Oh, yeah, 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 but that, yeah, that's the whole I point. Yeah, because I can go off and yeah. get a little offensive. Sometimes. But see, I, I've also said, though, um, and I don't, I don't want, I don't want I, that to happen. I don't want, I don't want I, you to say I, anything. Feel, you know. Yeah, I don't so, think I said anything. That's, crazy. Bad, that's, bad, that's a bad strategic move for you for your career. No, I think you know? everything was very level headed. What you said. Sponsor deals out the window. You know. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I think you're good, bro. Uh, yeah. No. Nah, no. Nah, I'm all good. It's all great. How long yeah. did we do? Like an hour and a half. Hour forty five. Yeah, we probably did. Because this is fifty three. No, we did, we did like, like two 30? hours. Probably an hour you still, thirty. You still, you still, you still, you still recording? Yeah, you got a lot to edit, man. I mean, it's a whole edit process, but yeah, you got a lot. To edit. No, well, I mean, I'm, nah, no, it's actually, not much to. It'll oh, be posted to, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Oh, shit. Yeah, it'll be posted tomorrow. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah I'll, I'll start like I would like just go in and like clip it out, clip out the things I want to post on there, and then yeah, um, oh, spread the link out and shit. Yeah, 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 and then I go from there. But then, uh, but nah, man, you didn't see nothing bad at all, bro. What are you talking? Yeah, because I've, I've literally had multiple friends tell me, "It's like, are you sure that's a good idea for you?" But did they watch like, the last episode? I don't know. <coughs> they just like, know me as a person. Right. Like, yeah. Malik has no filter. He doesn't really care what he says or like how yeah. it affects people. So he won't mean it in a in a mean yeah, in that, devious way, but it might come off pretty fucked up. So right, yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I can say all overall. I mean, from me meeting you at Paradigm. Coach G always had you as his top students. I always thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he always showing having you showing everybody how to do combos. I need to um, come back and do that. Maybe I should come back on Tuesday and start doing that again. You Maybe uh, I'll come on you Tuesday. popped up on the feed. You gotta get Coach G on here, man. No, well, <laughs> I've tried that already. There's, there's been an attempt a few times. Nah, G don't want to talk. Yeah, but no, nah, I mean, from that, and then I mean, yeah, Malik, man, you you're, you're getting there, bro. So I mean, I I feel. Uh, how how can I say? Um, um, I I don't know. I feel uh, what's the word for it? I can't even put the word on it. Um, how do you feel? How do you feel, Tristan? No, nah, I feel lucky. Yeah, man, just to have you here, bro. Like like grateful, I'm I'm lucky, gra- man. Grateful, yeah, grateful. Yeah, yeah lucky, man. Cause, 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 blessed. Yeah, yeah, man. You're blessed, and like I said, everything's happening for you. And then it's, yeah, everything's pretty cool. You know. And, you know. I just got into a. Violent altercation last week, and I won. And, and you won, uh, man. You and, know. You, and you look forward to getting in more, man. Yeah, man. I'll, yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah. But but I, I feel if you just like you said, keep keep a good head on your shoulders about what you're doing. You know, and keep looking ahead, and you know, you'll be all stay, right. Stay healthy, man. I guess you know. I guess health is staying healthy. But stay healthy and healthy. stay away from women. Yeah. Is anything happening right have, now or what? Do, do, no, do you have any, any, any groupies, any women, like groupies, any women watching these fights? I've had a couple like weird, really, like groupie energy motherfuckers. Wow. Yeah, wow. But, Ooh, man, yeah, so, yeah, but women. I mean, re- never mind. But <laughs> women, women, women. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah be careful women that can admin. be a little. I I might want to oh, come through club. that admin, bro. Of the club. Nah, nobody knows that I'm a fighter there. That's the fun part. Oh, good. Cool. Like, my coworkers yeah. and, like, my boss know. They came to my fight. They bought, oh, cool. like, tables and shit. But, like, I don't have a big name or a big face yet, so people just don't, like, recognize me. Right. I've had it happen, I think, twice at the club. To we're like, oh, you're, you're blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. But, like. Yeah. Dude, be prepared for I just more look like shit. some, like, athletic tall guy, I guess. But nobody knows that I'm a fighter, so that's pretty cool. 
Hell yeah. Yeah, but no, you stay stay away from the groupies and the women. Because yeah, they're only here to break your heart. We need, we need to get... Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. We need to get Bear in the gym, man. Yeah, yeah fuck man. It, man. Yeah, I'm down. I'm oh, down. shit. I think I was supposed to do a private today, and I never messaged that person. Oh. Oh, maybe they never messaged me. Yeah. If they didn't message you, 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 you do private was... training sessions? Yeah, I do private oh. like, uh, yeah. clients. So if you that's want private, message me. Yeah, that's that's got to be a good... Muay little... Thai Mamba Instagram. Message me. Yeah, get, uh, give out your social media and all that shit, man, and get you, get you going, man. Um, yeah. My Instagram is uh, Muay Thai Mamba. Yeah, uh, I always post it. That's really the only one I use. I don't really use <laughs> <laughs> anything else. Snapchat is dead. Facebook... I don't want to add y'all on Facebook. <laughs> uh, Twitter, it's not usable. Um, Twitter's just a porn website now. It's fucking ridiculous. Twitter's called X now, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's it's all porn. Really? It's, it's, it's yeah, a it's, disgusting place. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yo, like, I, you I, thought, don't do, I don't do social media, so I don't. Man, I have no oh, idea. Yeah, man. Social media. Twitter it's like, is. It's like everything. I don't do Twitter media, is a bro, so wild know. place. It's almost like. Oh. Uh, it's like Pornhub, but like well, a like, social media Pornhub. It's what, ridiculous. What's well, like Houston wow. Chronicle on crack? Wow. It's really it's wild. News, it's like a newspaper on crack with like everything. It's yeah, everything. it's like you like I don't <laughs> watch the news. I get all my news from like social media and like I kind of decipher between like the bullshit or not. Yeah. But Twitter is you got a bunch of girls promoting the OnlyFans and that's crazy, bro. Showing vaginas the, and titties. The world we and, live in, man. No, Twitter is a. I don't, I don't. Like you should never have to pay for porn ever. Right, just go to right. Twitter. Like Twitter's a wow. It's a disgusting place. Yeah, wow, it's man, it's I, had no, it's I, had, I had no idea. Yeah, X is pretty wild. X is pretty. I had no idea. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not on the shit, man. Yeah, it's wild. Cool, man. Sadly. <laughs> All right, man. Done well, deal. I guess that'll be it. Peace. Sign it off. Woo-hoo. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. Oh shit.